Uh, we live? Uh, we live? Seems good. Let's continue with Long War of the Chosen. Uh, wherein... At the end of the last episode, we had a... I believe it was this guy. The slowest falling officer in the history of the universe. Uh, I figured out a little bit afterwards that I could have typed slow-mo jacked up the game speed by a lot um, and got that sorted out a bit quicker. But suffice to say, um, we're pretty much at the end of this mission. Veldak, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, and we're basically running from a couple of zombies and troopers and not interested in fighting at this point. Merry Christmas, Tehran 45 Big Brain. Merry Christmas, Veldak. Thank you very much for the 14 months and everything else. Very much appreciated. Thank you, Veldak. 14 months, wow. I cannot thank you enough. Excuse me while I'm still trying to calibrate my voice. Um, so we've got apparently a stunned drone. I don't remember this. Oh, right. The set of mods and stuff I've got, I can't actually see how long he's stunned for. I think, um, yeah, here we go. A uh, Sigma Bean stunned the drone, if I recall. So we can just run past. Larius, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Time flies? Yeah, it really does. What is time anymore since, like, two years ago or so? I don't know. Um, but yeah, we've got these kind of creepy human faces on the advent from a graphical bug because I loaded this game after these zombies were made. Uh, <laughs> they've got the exact same face as well. But uh, yeah, suffice to say, uh, we're out of here. It's pretty much a foregone conclusion. Uh, let's just be a little bit careful about it. Sigma Bean can already get out next turn. Um, I think I might have him destroy the drone, because why not? We also have... oh, that's airdrop. It's been a minute since I played this. I hope I don't forget what people are capable of. Uh, Larius, could you please... Well, you could kill that zombie, but assuming you roll high on damage, but I don't really see the point. Um, we'll just have you overwatch from here. Potentially covering the other two tumbles. Get out of there. Jacobek. Get out of there. Probably... Probably here. And Doctor, get out of there. That should be fine. Okay, focus. Don't die. I'm Don't on it. Die. More reinforcements coming, but everyone should be able to just run out next turn. They also look like they're a bit far away. Nope, that is not far away. Oh, this could be a problem. Actually, I think I, I think I have it. If that thing goes on Overwatch, which it does, I'm pretty sure. I take responsibility. The big robot, that is. Sigma should be able to take care of it. Oh, I forgot that drone was basically already dead. From the Trojan virus. That I tend to put on my hackers these days. And Trooper's gonna double move. Yep. Alright, so Sigma Bean. Glad I didn't get you out last turn. If you please, interference on the giant robot. No more Overwatch. We can all leave as we please. Uh, we may as well take some parting shots, though I don't know how much that's going to accomplish. I guess... Who would be best for that? Well, Jacobek can't, so... Jacobek, just get out of here. I'm gone. 
Lariat also cannot take a parting shot. Tumbles over here, I guess. And Freeman can't take a parting shot. Alright, we got horrible odds, actually. Apparently he can't see the zombie. Oh, I probably could have positioned Sigma so that we could kill this uh, sword guy. Hey, it may not be too late. Do we have line of sight anywhere in the evac? We do not. Never mind. I'm going. All right. Well, that won't accomplish anything. Let's just go. I leave the field for now. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Nice. Unfortunately, Sigma's going to be out for at least a couple of weeks, I think. Even now, our enemy lurks in the shadows, plotting to destroy all we have built. Yes. To return us to the chaos of the old world. Only together can we oppose them. That is... That loading screen is a bit longer than usual. I think it's because the first one for the day. Going back to the Avenger. Uh, no, no promotions, unfortunately, but we did win with just one little wound. 14 days, exactly as I said, actually. Didn't get much in terms of loot. Alright, so now we need to reacquaint ourselves. Also, we got a new rookie. Uh, let's just get that little notification out of the way. What's our rookie like? Low health, decent mobility, uh, terrible, terrible dodge. Uh, I think that's above average hacking for a rookie. And pretty mediocre psi uh, powers, slightly above average aim. Uh, how many... Specialists do we have? I think I could definitely go for one more. Especially one that is kind of... I don't want to say more expendable um, to go on the sneak missions, but we have to level them up somehow. Specialist... And that should be all the rookies being trained. Um, so where are we at? Render Viper Corpse one day. Oh, are we actually out of research at the moment? We're out of research that we can afford to take on. Okay. Uh, we got the defense matrix. We got everything dug out almost. We got 12 people available for missions, so we could do one more if we had to, but I might want to keep them for an emergency. Uh, resistance ring is coming back in four days with uh, countering chosen activity. Do we have a mission being infiltrated? Uh, we do. Three days until the next mission. Okay. And I don't think there was anything that I was waiting to urgently do at the end of that mission. Recover item 7 days, 16 hours light. That's tempting. The only thing is I'll be committing most of my troops. I've actually got two infiltrations going at the moment. I suppose I can pick them up if there's an emergency. It's not like we're about to get attacked with the Avenger. We'll have a peek at this and see if we can load it up. Not today, Central. Not today. In fact, I'm pretty sure we already have someone... Oh no, the Skulljack's here. Um, so what do we got? Light. 
we've got three of our best available from the last mission. Are they tired? Um, not really. No, we could do this. Tumbles as well. Why not? Mostly, most of the same squad. So we got our sniper scout. We've got our flamer. At least one shooter, grenadier. Uh, we'll want a hacker, and we've only got one available. I'd also like to take our psyop to get some experience. Um. Well, there's only one specialist available, I believe. No, there's two. Knoised or a squatty? Knoised is a shooter specialist. I think we've only got one of those. Oh, this would be very light with five people. I could pay the intel. Um, we'd still gain, like, nine intel plus the intel package plus the XP if we pull this off. And any equipment. I think that's probably worth it. Assuming we're not starving for equipment, which doesn't look like we are. Can I afford another armor? Oh, I really can at the moment. I mean, alloys are kind of short, but it's not that bad. I kind of want another spider suit. But I don't think we have to build that right now, do we? There isn't anyone here who really benefits that much from a spider suit. And some alloy plating. What's your speed? 15 minus 1. That's fine. Uh, you're wanting to bond with Ragnar. I'm not sure about that one, though. Oh, no, I'm wounded. Indeed. Sigma Bean. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, If I take one more, we can still get down to extremely light with a boost, but we need to really over-infiltrate it. Six days, 22 hours. I think we can go without this lot for six days, 22 hours, probably. Who do I want to take, though? Probably one of the Psyops, like I said. This one's got a little bit more speed and dodge. Same Psy power. Slightly worse aim, but we never have them shoot. I think we'll go for that. Can I afford a Psyamp? Does it count as a weapon? Here it is. Advanced Psyamp. So we've got... Psy Strength bonus nil, Psy Strength bonus 10. So it's probably just... Yeah, plus 10 Psy, plus 10 on all those rolls. Alright, you've got 6 health. Nah, I really don't want to... I don't want to be needlessly risky when I've got this many supplies spare. Even if you do tend to sit towards the back. That should be fine. Alright, so when we see 109% infiltration, we'll know that they can definitely get extremely light. Uh, we've got plenty of... we've got decent shooting. Plenty of explosives and stuff. What are you saving up for? Untouchable? That doesn't make that much sense. It's good, but it doesn't make that much sense on a Grenadier. Maybe Hunter's Instincts instead? 
That's still a lot. It's only 20 for cyclic fire. Three shots at a single target requires both actions. I think you need like five ammo in the chamber as well. Which means at least a advanced uh, extended mag on an SMG. Yeah. But it, he has to do it from standing still that turn. So I don't... I don't think that's going to come in handy very often. I'm pretty sure this crit thing doesn't work for the grenades. Yeah, there's really not much in terms of extra skills for Freeman. We want Predator. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to get Jakubek to have... Rapid reaction, then we'll pay for Predator. That's going to be very, very, very good. Almost a guaranteed hit most of the time. Uh, let's take... We don't have any extra autoloaders. Add a bigger mag. Take a suppressor, maybe. I think I want to save a basic scope for someone else. Alright, this will do. Let's go. Sky Ranger deployed. Squad green to deploy. How much intel do we have two intel? Um okay, they've got a number of days. And we'll finish the Viper Corpse render in 13 hours. I'll switch it over to cracking open a uh one of the um setting course for sector two. Australia. What are they called again? Data pads. And let's continue... Uh-oh. Oh, no. Well, there's that emergency that I was talking about. Defend Supply Convoy. That's a big mission. Um, we've already got Ragamuffin in there. Whether we like it or not. Is anyone else going to be available in just a moment? Three hours until 100%? Were we going to boost this one? I don't... Well, this is just a spy. This is Mannequin and... No, wait, Double Shinobi? Oh, this is, uh, try to escort a scientist out. Yeah, 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 that makes sense. Well, the two low-level Shinobis aren't going to make that much of a difference. Um, probably. We can't boost this. It's a smash. It, it's only a smash and grab, but we kind of need stuff. Uh, I might have to cancel it, though. Morpheus, one of our best sharpshooters. No question. Um, this is kind of half of our A-team here. We've got one day to show up for this. Who have we got? We got Midden back in nine hours. Um, covert action is four days. Is anyone wounded or anything? Yeah, it's only Sigma. Who definitely won't be ready soon. Uh, we've got Stardust. As a Haven advisor. Bond training 22 hours. Uvim and Crimson, two of our heroes. Um, we'll probably have to wait for that. In which case... Yeah. I'm pretty sure we'll have to cancel this mission. That we just queued up. Well, it's barely started. Why don't I just abort it and 
Well, no, I have to wait 22 hours if I want that, uh... Two of our best troops available. So it's not like I can do this and then queue this up again immediately. Setting course for Sector 14, East Asia. Commander Tiger okay. and Shen are shut going up to be central. If we don't put the skulljack to good use. We should have one of our soldiers equip it before. This one is forward. extremely light. We may as well try it now, it's never gonna get easier. Or maybe have a couple more shinobis to pick from. So here we're trying to shepherd a scientist through a city full of enemies with a couple of shinobis a just sneaking around. Data in this area. We've got the coordinates, but it's likely we'll have to clear out a contingent of hostile forces to make this work. Menace one five, target coordinates incoming. Secure the VIP and proceed to um, the back volume that... I was going to say it doesn't look too bad, but we've got snakes on the roof. Our position is concealed, though, because we're shinobis, but the scientist, not so much. Starting on the roof, believe it or not, makes me a little more nervous as well, because line of sight from the edge of the roof can be a bit sketchy. Um, I guess the natural thing is to take a peek Understood. over this way. That's looking good so far. I kind of want Morpheus to look over here, but a drone could come up onto the roof next turn. And ruin our day. Let's have a peek down this way instead. We see nothing. Uh, the red things are because of the tower. Doesn't tell us that there's anyone there. I could bring... Kanyakumari Pawar over here. I think this would be a lot safer. Most of the time. Um, oh, there's no door here, so... So we can go a little further forward, but then... Then we're stuck in here because there's just windows. We can't get out that way. It might be worth it, though, to potentially take a peek through here. Well, how about this way? We should be able to see through that window. Okay, it's now looking a lot safer to bring uh, Kanya Moving. up here. I, have eyes on the enemy. I would say fantastic, but that's not exactly fantastic. Um, I'm debating whether to put... Oh no, wait, I'll just put... I'll put our scientist here should have the best potential for hiding. Scientist is probably technically going to be peeking this way, though. Uh-oh. Ooh, how close was that? Not as close as I thought, but still. Do we dare try running across the bridge in the middle? No. If it were just the shinobis, yes, but... Well, we're obviously not going this way anytime soon. Let's have a peek over here. That is also not what I want to see. So, at this point, it's looking like our only option is to go all the way to the left. Um, I'm not seeing great options for quietly hiding our scientist over here. We could perhaps... If I could get up to that wall, I'd feel a lot more comfortable. I mean, 
mean, he should be safe, but... I mean, everything's risky, but that feels riskier than might be necessary. Mannequin, how about we get you to take a peek up here? And I think since they're down below, it should be relatively safe to put our scientist here. Okay, they are going where we thought they would go. Go sit in the corner and think about what you've done. Uh, and let's maybe... Superb moderation, thank you. Um, let's maybe... There could be, like, civilians down here or something. I don't think there are. I think I want to be a little bit greedier with trying to see further over this way. On this turn. And this should be relatively safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, I can get our scientists out this way, but we have to do a smashy-smashy, and these guys are maybe going to hear it and come this way. If I go back this way, I'm a little scared we're going to see a drone or something, but... I think we just have to risk it somewhat. I think I'll bring Kanya over here so we can at least see it first. Reduce our odds. And weird as it may look, we're going to have the scientist run out in the open. Just get as far over this way as we can. Hopefully nothing back here can spot him. Alright, fantastic. Let's get... Well, I was going to maybe sprint Kanya up here, but I want to take a peek down this way if I can. It looks like, if necessary, our scientists can kind of hide down here, but considering where the edge of the map is, that's not looking... Oh, well, here might be good sometimes, except it's so far from a ladder or anything. Let's get Mannequin up this way. I don't love that... Uh, van blocking line of sight, but what can you do? Scientist all the way over here. Believe it or not, standing back further from the heavy cover is better for hiding behind it. Um, it's a little risky. Well, let's try this first. And I think we'll have Mannequin Moving over here. Location. Okay. So far, so good. We do have ladders all the way from the ground up relatively close to the evac. Uh, unfortunately, it is one of those buildings that is just full of glass. Like, almost every building in the Advent Cities. That's what I don't want to see. That is about the last thing I want to see, as a matter of fact. I'm not seeing a single angle that we could potentially get our scientist up there without getting spotted. We're just going to have to hope they move in a direction that's uh, convenient for us. Mannequin can almost get out already, so I'm not as worried about our shinobis. How much speed does Kumar have? 15 plus 2. Slightly faster than Mannequin. So that shouldn't be too scary. The, the challenging thing here is finding a spot 
where they can keep an eye on things. Try to spot an opening for our scientist and also be able to get out in one turn. And also not get spotted and get stuck somewhere. I mean, this has a risk of getting stuck, but there wasn't not a whole lot of options. I think Mannequin can probably run out from here. And as for our scientist, if only we had a ladder here, I would love to hide them down this way. Uh, these are some sadistic choices we have at the moment. Staying back here is obviously not good. Uh, the mission timer is going to kill us. If we run across the bridge... How far is line of sight? Yeah, that's about what I thought. If we run to here, there's a pretty good chance the snakes see us next turn. Who wants promotions anyway? I want to be famous? What? Um... I could drop him down here, but then he'd have to run all the way to those stairs to get back up and probably get spotted by other squads in the process. I think the best bet... Hmm. How far can you run? Not far at all. 12 movement. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6, or 7 more tiles from here before you're able to try and hide behind this big van. I could maybe put him, like, here. And hope he can run over here next turn, and after that... Because this is only two tiles of heavy cover, it's very difficult to hide behind that properly. Yeah, I, I really don't like the chances for this mission. We should be able to get our shinobis out safely, though. Unless the snakes just happen to go exactly that direction? Okay. Okay, we're in with a chance, at least. Uh, here we get spotted, here we do not. So apparently there's no line of sight through this glass. I think the, the turn for our scientist is pretty damn obvious. And Mannequin can get out already. Uh, Kanya can get out already. Hype. I mean, it depends what they do the next few turns, because we can't get our scientist out in one turn. We'll have to try and hide him, like, here or here. I'm skeptical about whether he'd have the movement, depending on which tile I put him on here. Maybe if I can, like, have him climb up and sit, like, here somewhere. Next turn. I don't know if he has that much movement. But, yeah, we should be able to see everything. I'll probably just keep Kanya right here. Roger, and hope the snakes keep going in the same direction. No! Oh, that's bad. Um, Zezao would be able to get where I was planning. If they would be so kind as to go away for a turn or two. I think all we can really do is wait. Unless I were to try to create a distraction, that is ridiculously... Oh, we have, we have command. Okay. Um... If Zizao... If Zizao would be able to run up here in one action from this spot, we might be able to pull it off.
closing on target position now. Yeah, apparently we don't have line of sight for that command. That's unfortunate. You know, if I had a trooper here and there was advent here, I could have sworn they'd be flanked. Did they did they make it so that you can't command scientists? Do quick investigation and that spammer slash scammer domain name is provided by Cloudfair? Uh, nice. Thank you very much, Veldak. Very nice. Well, I guess... <sighs> There's no chance this guy survives three snakes. Standing in the open with five hit points. Mannequin can't get out this turn. Covering now. I think we just... Just wait. Tongue grab? Poison. Interesting choice, but it's only one action. And dead. Yeah. Well, that's his whole turn. Hopefully these guys don't move exactly here and find Mannequin. Yeah, not likely. The Overwatch doesn't help things, though. I can't get up? Are you serious? The snake is, like, blocking here, so I don't have as clear a run to get to the evac. Okay, let's get a little closer. What was that? What? Excuse me, what? No. That's... Hold on, what? This guy had line of sight to, like, here with the detection radius. This guy's further away. That's... That's got to be a bug. I need to see that again. I need to see that. We had line of sight on him as well, so we should be able to see where he can see. What? Why are we back here? Why was there no... What? Uh, this autosave is from 15 minutes ago? What? I don't... What happened to the autosave? Um... There isn't even an option... to have fewer autosaves or anything, is there? Enable autosave. I've... I've never seen anything like this. 
Well, I guess now we have to try and reenact that entire mission. Getting it done. Hostile forces spotted. I guess next time I'll check the timestamp. I think I put mannequin here. They should all follow the same paths and stuff. Oh, that's frustrating. Where was I putting... I think I put mannequin, like, here so that we could see if we could put our scientist here. And then something like this. I probably put mannequin over here, actually. We were definitely at this tile, though. I'm on the move. Uh, that was probably more than I did last time. Stepping off. Scanning. I think I heard something. No, don't tell me we're in a different timeline. That's not what I wanted. I literally just wanted to find out how the hell that detection happened. Orders confirmed. On the move. I didn't want to save scum. The snakes are probably on the roof, though. I'm on it. Hostiles are moving. Nope. Oh, they are in a different spot. All right. Reenact. We can't... No, we can't command a scientist. I'm pretty sure we have line of sight from... I know we have line of sight from here. Yeah. Well, that sucks. Well, that was the entire premise of... Um, of why I risked Mannequin's life back there. That we would be able to command the scientist. Which you used to be able to do, and... I did not get the memo that they took that out of the game. So, yeah, we're just going to get out of here. Maybe he'll make it. Nope. Alright, we got our shinobis back. We bask in the Elder's light! He sounded very excited. Very excited about clapping one scientist. Okay, so we've got... Um... I can't boost this. One of our best snipers, good grenadier, probably our best technical. I think we have to cancel this one. How many hours do we have left? 19. Is that who we're going to be fighting here? Yeah, the Warlock. That's not as bad as it could be.
We'll need to have one of our troops equip the skull jack Shut up, Central. The field if we're going to make any progress towards our current objective. Alright, I don't want any other missions triggering with our best... Uh, some of our best people in Havens in the meantime. I might put one of the lobies in here though. Might yet find a faceless. Alright, so we need to wait about 10 hours, I think it is. Uh, for bond training. Where is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's not it. Yeah, here it is. 20 hours for Buvim. Wait, what? Hold on. I thought we had... Did I misread it earlier? I thought Buvim and Crimson would be available just in time for this mission. But apparently we've only got 12 hours left. Uh, seven hours till we get Midden back. I think we can wait for that, though. Alright. I wish you could deliberately wait a specific amount of time instead of this. Considering time is your most important resource, and sometimes you have to wait, uh, it would be nice if we didn't have just this incredibly unreliable waste time until something happens button. Commander Tygen and Shen aren't going to be happy if we don't put okay. the Skulljack to good use. We should have one of our soldiers. So we're definitely taking Larius. Uh, we can't take Boovim and friend. We'll definitely take a couple of sharpshooters. Uh, Morpheus and Stardust with maglong rifles and spider suits. Uh, Stardust with the reaction fire. Morpheus. Do, is, a, is a basic scope really the best I can do? Apparently. Um, let's maybe go for needle rounds, for one or two more damage. And Stardust should have a pistol as well. Oh, he does. Morpheus, not so much. Got 12 AP to spare. Maybe I should go for steady hands. We'll look at everyone else and consider it. Uh, definitely want Rorosaur with the rockets. Can I make a double rocket suit? I cannot. We're going to need some more shooters, I think. Jacobek and either Zetius or what was the other one? It's not Patel. There was another gunner leveled up a little bit. Not available right now. Um, Do I want to take double Psy operative? Probably not. I'll take one. Maybe I should for the guaranteed damages. Alright. Should I take a Shinobi? Maybe I should give uh, Larius the plus damage, actually. Since the sniper rifle always, always, already does quite a bit. And then... 
uh, we need a advanced expanded mag so you can actually get multiple shots off. Um, a specialist with heal would be nice, but I don't think we have any. Not yet. You're like one promotion away from medical protocol. Alright, I definitely want a hacker, but Sigma is wounded. And our other good hacker is dead. Are you the only specialist available right now? No, there's also a corporal, but that doesn't really count. Hmm. We could have a grenadier for some guaranteed damages. Might be a good idea, to say the least. Okay, so we've got Larius, Rorosaur, a couple of good shooters. What's your aim like? 77? Not bad. Not great, but not bad. Let's get some more alloy plating in here. And do we not have a gauntlet for you? We do. Maybe some magazine? No. Can I make some specialized ammo, like Shredder or something? No, we've already got Shredder. I think we can stack Shredder, but that's not really worth. Uh, we got Combatives, Ever Vigilant, Deep Cover on Zedius. Very nice. Can we get a better hair trigger for you? We cannot. Hmm. Don't tell me the Psyop... Oh, I put them in Haven Advisor. I should just grab them. Psyop. With the better mobility... Shut up, Central. Okay. Stardust. And Morpheus. Rorosaur. Zetius. Uh, probably... Oh yeah, Jacobac as well. Uh, Freeman? And that just leaves Psyop. And I'm a little nervous for not having a hacker. Oh, can we give you plus Psy? Uh, yes we can. And I think the other guy already had it. Yeah. Alright, this guy is definitely ahead. So now we have 98 Psy on that. Uh, let's give you a proper SMG just in case. Do we not have one? Seems good. Uh, and we should probably be taking some heals, but who's going to carry them? Make this side up. What have we got? 14 plus 1 mobility. That'll have to do. Uh, and put on some... Some proper... Ablative armor, if you please. Actually, all of you, make sure you put on some proper ablative armor. That's 
what we researched it for. Except for Freeman. Freeman's kind of tanky. And we want all of the grenades. Do we have any gas grenades? Apparently not. No, I cancelled it. Oh, I have to do all that again. Mostly. Oh, I hate the way that works. Rorosaur. Jackabek. Larius. I mean Zedius. Uh, a couple of sharpshooters at the back. And... One Psyop. And who else was I bringing? Oh, a Grenadier. Okay. Not thrilled about this. I'd really like to have a specialist for hacking and a specialist for long range heals. Uh, I think we just might go for steady weapon though. On Morpheus. Steady hands. Plus 10, plus 10, uh, plus 10, plus 10 aim and crit. As long as he doesn't, didn't move last turn. I also wouldn't mind getting formidable eventually, but that's really far off. Okay. I say okay, but I'm really not feeling good about this mission. It could be a... it could be worse, but... Not having heals when we have to fight the Chosen... And not having hacking... Is not great. Well, hacking and, like, combat protocols. Stuff to deal with mechs specifically. And the long-range ping. Are we up on... Oh, I think I know this map. We're right at the edge of the water here. Okay. So let's have a look first at this end. Uh, we do have a resistance mech, at least. That is something. One of our resistance guys is up on this roof. I don't think that's going to help. Um... <laughs> And our one soldier, Ragamuffin, has a laser rifle and a steady weapon. That's not going to be the least useful. Uh, that, like, that's not bad. As far as how much one soldier can help from back here. Sending good vibes for this mission. Um, I want to get them... Probably over this way? Sometimes enemies appear over here, but that's not that big a deal. Ragamuffin's gonna steady. He doesn't even have armor. Oh no. Pretty much all he's got is this stock. Uh, the mech. I kind of want front and center. You're gonna be tanking some shots. This guy's... Ooh, this guy's got watch them run and return fire. Negative 10 dodge. Good grief. Oh my goodness. Rapid fire, precision shot? Yu Ying is a hero among rebels. Uh, I just hope we can make use of her without getting her killed. Alright, could you please... Overwatch. And... It doesn't really matter the direction of cover this turn. We just want to spread out a bit in Overwatch. Not spread out too much, though. You have an SMG, regular grenades, bad aim, low, relatively low health. You are combat-wise the least among us. Uh, and 
let's get our mech up here. And maybe I should keep this guy up here for one turn, just so he gets um, height advantage on his reaction shot. Alright, Larius is blocked by all these other people. Let's move someone. Zetius uh, has... Ever Vigilant, relatively low mobility, so let's get you up here. Larius can now go this far. With any luck, you'll get multiple shots on reaction fire. Jakubek, probably up here. Stardust, can't get a grapple. What's your line of sight like from where you are? It's good, but you're standing in the open. So I probably have to waste your first turn. Or maybe I should have you on reaction fire and then move next turn. Rorosaur. Uh, I need you to potentially fire a rocket next turn. And for that, I need you to start your turn in cover. And your movement options are not great. Let's just put you here, I guess. Hopefully you don't waste your turn next time. I don't value Freeman's Overwatch shot that much compared to where he can put a grenade. Carlos, kind of same thing. Morpheus is in a much worse position. Uh, we'll probably put you over here and steady. Looks like we're not going to get to use our grapples that we paid for to get on our snipers. Not this mission. Uh, at least Stardust could get pistol overwatch if he moves. But there's nowhere really... Uh, I think I'll just put you on overwatch this turn. And... Run Freeman up, and Carlos over here. Glacier Wolf, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're going well. Can you only go up with grapples? Uh, not exactly. You can go sideways, but you need, like, a gap to jump over, basically. And no, you haven't, you haven't died yet. Alright, here comes the first wave of BS. What's this, Gunner Triple Trooper? That's not very scary yet. That's more like it. We've got the chosen in our sights. Did one of those have only four health? I'm really surprised at this stage. Oh wow, that's an excellent start. That guy has a lot more health. Well... It was only the weaker squad, but they completely wiped it out with reaction fire. Stardust with the reaction shot misses, actually. And here's our cringe friend. Oh no, that's not who I want to see. I do not count myself lucky. Are you winning? Probably not. Heather Kelly, Sounds welcome, like welcome. Hope you're doing well. Do we have a shot with Morpheus? Not even close. Where would we have to go to get a shot? Um, maybe I should try and get my sniper up here. We're not doing anything this turn. If I move and steady, we're probably not getting... There's a good chance of not getting a shot next turn either. Uh, Stardust does have a 79% on an engineer. That's not that imp that, That's not as important. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're not safe from the Chosen just by standing up here. That's That's not a thing. Ragamuffin, after all that, doesn't even have a shot. Uh, 
Um, what do we have here? Hunter drone, sword guy, engineer, officer, and I don't know where the stupid chosen is because she goes invisible. Because that makes sense. Can't really get a good shot with this guy. Let's see what people up here can do. Larius. Uh, I'm really not feeling good about lowering Larius's movement by one for the damage. It is I who said uh, that you should really avoid going below 14. We may as well take this shot. 62%. Miss. I take responsibility. Good on you. You take that responsibility. Jacobek and or Zetius we could get in position for a flank reaction shot. Um, I don't suppose combatives could potentially protect us from the assassin. I doubt it. I suck? No, I just couldn't put you in a good spot yet. There will be reinforcements up here in a couple of turns. Uh, we probably should take the 79% with Stardust. Missed as well. Okay, it's going to be one of those missions. Um, Zetius is a little tanky. Oh, also with deep cover. Yeah, I definitely want Zetius to be the one to go behind this light cover here. And Jakubek. I said Jakubek. Probably. Uh, that's unfortunate. Probably here. Step it off. Freeman, oh, move up. Morisor, move, move up. Psychic, move up. Morpheus, run over here so that you could Come potentially on. grapple next turn. And I think that's actually everyone on the A team side. Alright, so what can we do? I really want to find the Chosen so I can use the... Oh! Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay. Well, that works, I guess. <laughs> I should probably take my guy off here in case this truck does explode. Uh, as I was trying to say, I really, really want to shred the Chosen armor first thing I'd also like to deal with some of these this turn if possible but the position we're in it doesn't look terribly likely um the blade in particular I'm not too keen on leaving there maybe we can blow him up Uh, we've also got a smoke grenade. That's not what I really need right now. Flashbang might be better. Flashbangs don't do anything to the Chosen because of reasons. Alright, I think... I think we'll start with putting you over here. And we'll try and grenade all of this at once. It doesn't look like we can... If we blow this up... Hmm... The Hunter's no... threat to... ignore either, but the sword is much, much worse. Let's start with this. Oh, there we go. There we go. That thing blew up much easier than I expected. 
Don't know if that means we lost some of our supplies, but that's not as important at the moment. Um, I think I would like... Where do I want to put you? I think I want to keep all our little ducklings together, because the Chosen is going to want to run in and slice them. We can at least potentially get some damage on her before she kills every single one of them. Alright, we're not going to mess around even with a 96, 4 to 7 damage, 3 to 6 damage. Maybe I should mess around with a 90% chance here. Just this once. My fear is the mech dying before I get to use the micro-missiles. And then bullshit free action. There it is. Now, every time I hit her this turn, she's going to slice that mech. We don't want that yet. Probably. Uh, we do have a flanked Chosen here, though. Maybe I should go for the rapid fire? From up close? I'd also like to overwatch after grenade, but I don't think that's actually going to be that useful here. Okay. Alright. Rapid fire it is. 93%. She's got extra armor as well. <sighs> so I'd basically be scratching her and giving her free action. Let's not do that. That barely did anything. Let's move Ragmuffin somewhere a bit safer. Potentially get Angle. Got a flank on the officer from here. But then I'd be bunching people up. This wouldn't be so bad, I guess. Only 61%. Maybe I should just flashbang him or something. Feels like a waste only getting one flashbang out. Uh, only getting one person with the flashbang, that is. I could try killing the drone. I don't think this Chosen uses AoE. If I bunch people up anymore, we're definitely going to get flashbanged by this guy. I mean, that's already going to happen. Maybe I should flashbang him. Seems like a waste, especially when he should be dead already from that 79%. Let's try killing the drone. 74. Alright, that roll went well at least. Should I try grenading this guy? He's not going to die from it. Well, he's almost definitely not going to die from it. Can I scratch him with anyone else? Not really? I guess it's worth a try. This is for you. Oh, he did. Alright. Uh, I guess we may as well overwatch. Uh, she does have a grenade. Oh, it blinded them? Three damage, that's not that much. 
And then... Oh no, not this BS. That goes straight through walls and hits everything. Okay, good shot. Zedius. He's almost dead. And he misses. Fantastic. B team carry. We'll see. Uh, I'd really like to get Larius closer. Like maybe sprint up this turn. Oh, reinforcements are coming, so that's a no. We need him on reaction fire. Morpheus can grapple here or here. And could execute the officer this turn. That might be worth doing, because we'll get the steady weapon after that. And there's no way he's doing anything useful this turn otherwise. They have served with honor. Steady Their weapon. Uh, I want Larius on reaction fire about here. Because we're probably going to have reinforcements dropping on our head, more or less. Still got 30 bloody hit points to chew through on the Chosen. Stardust, I really want to move so we can get better reaction shots. Really, what where I need Stardust is up here, I think. Let's move already. But we'll do that next turn. I think I value Reload more than Pistol Overwatch. Then again, we've got four shots left. And I don't think he's likely to get a shot with the pistol. Okay, Zedius doesn't have a shot this turn. Uh, can run up to the heavy cover though, that seems that. good. Morosaur, probably over here. Jack Quebec, I want you in a position where you're likely to hit reinforcements. And help protect Morpheus as well. Kind of. Moving to designated position. Affirmative, covering now. I think I'll be moving the mech and using missiles on the Chosen here. We've actually got no more threats except the Chosen up this end. 100% shot with Ragamuffin. That might be the way to go. I'm pretty sure if I hit it first with Ragamuffin and then... And then Shred afterwards... The temporary armor doesn't protect the armor that's going to get shredded later on, uh, when, when the temporary buff disappears. Could be wrong about that. Oh, these guys are blind? So I'd have to move him right next to the Chosen, which I was thinking of doing anyway. We could get a rapid fire. 4 to 7 twice, as opposed to 5 to 8 once. And then she'll probably slash you in the face. I don't suppose you could hit her from here? And she'll probably slash the mech, which should be able to take one more hit. Yeah, 100% rapid fire. There's a good chance of graze though. Balanced, negative 200%, jeez. Neg negative 200% crit. 
that seems fair. So this one's guaranteed 5 to 8. This one's 4 to 7 twice, but with like a 40% chance to graze. I don't think we're going to get a better chance than this. One? Really? And she gets the damage control before the second shot? Okay, at least she's her damage hasn't been upgraded that much yet. Let's move our mech. Shred some armor. I think we'll just take a shot. So she should have zero armor after she loses that buff, I think. Uh, now we still have 100%. It's only 3 to 5 now? What? Wait, what? The weapon damage should still stay the same. So she's got arbitrary damage reduction on top of gaining armor after she gets hit? <sighs> okay. Can we smoke to try and protect this guy? That's our flashbanger. Here we go, smoke? No, not this turn. I think all I can do is move everyone and put them on reaction fire now. Unless I want to potentially deal one damage to the Chosen and then she's going to slash this guy. Which, probably not, no. Since this guy's blind for at least one more turn... I guess we'll just reload. I want to try and keep Ragamuffin safe. Get him closer to the edge of the map. One... Probably just reaction fire. There's a good chance they're going to waste their shots on the Chosen, but... Nothing for it. Let's get our Grenadier up closer to the Chosen. And that's the turn. Now we get some reaction fire from Larius and friends. Oh, Larius is right next to them. Here we go. One. One down. <laughs> Two. Still alive. And... Dead. Third shot from Larius. Eight on the trooper. Not bad. That's why I gave you the plus damage. Assassin's doing five damage a slice now. And interesting choice with your second action. I'll take it. Uh, Rorosaur could rocket this turn, but it's really not necessary yet. We got 100% execution on Elite Trooper for one action for Jacobek, but... Can we... Morpheus can't even see them. Huh. I just want this trooper dead as well is the only thing. Uh, Stardust... Doesn't have an angle on the Chosen, but I'd like to get you up here anyway. But we'll deal with those other threats before we make that decision. 
Uh, I'm pretty sure we're gonna have Freeman set the Chosen on fire this turn. Definitely. Oh, here we go. Carlos. Carlos, you're up. This is your job. Nice. Alright. Uh, Jacobac, if you please, execute Elite Trooper. Did you see that one? And... Reaction shot. Carlos, uh, this ends your turn. Do I want to move you first? Possibly a little bit closer to the Chosen. Move into position. My mind is my weapon. Six to nine gu uh, guaranteed damage is quite good too. I didn't realize the first upgrade to the Psy Amp would do that. Uh, and I guess we're going to wait on seeing what happens with the Chosen. Yeah, she has no armor now, that's good. Um, kind of want to pre preserve this troop. Let's get you back here, I guess. And then... Where can I put Freeman? Oh, can he already hit her? He can. Just not with the center. But he's already got uh, tandem warheads. Full damage to the maximum extent of the area of effect. So it doesn't matter if I hit the side. Cool. Let's start with this. A handful of shrapnel makes the medicine go down! Beautiful. Is she not on fire? Are you kidding me? What? She's not on fire. Ah. Uh. Okay. It's not like that literally should have been guaranteed or anything. 81%. I think here I should use the micro missiles, perhaps? I mean, she'll have no armor next turn, but... We've got so many actions to attack her now. And no other threats. There's no way we're not trying to kill her this turn, or at least deal a lot of damage. But we have to mitigate the BS reactions that she gets. Move people away before we fire. I needed to do that for the micro missiles anyway. That should be fine. And where's she going to go now? Next to this guy. And now we're starting to see arbitrary drop-off in damage that we can do. Let's grenade again. Oh, she's not next to anyone? I think I think she doesn't get a free slash if I shoot her now. I don't suppose Morpheus can see her. I probably should have kept checking. Yep, there we go. 100%. 4 to 6. No dodge. That's as good as it's going to get. Let's take it. Six hole damage. Uh, and now she's next to our mech, so if we're going to hit her again, it had better be worth it. Because I think he might survive one more slash. But if we hit her one more time this turn, that mech is definitely dying. Maybe we should all just reaction fire. 
What if I used flush? We get one damage, she's forced to move, and then maybe she doesn't get her free slash? It's worth a try, right? I want some mech and cheese. <laughs> okay, that that actually worked. Alright, so does Ragamuffin have a shot still? 100%, 3 to 5, let's do it. And now she's next to the rebel that I was trying to protect. Who have we got left? I don't think we can put smoke on him. I think he's just dead. Once she gets an action. Oh. I don't think we can reach the smoke that far. I can we can if we move up. If we don't mind smoking the assassin. If we're not going to shoot at her again this turn, it doesn't matter. So I would say this is the best we can do. To give our rebels a chance to live. Uh, Larius also... Negative 20. Wouldn't have had a decent shot anyway. Um... I think I'll have Larius go into shadow. Partly just so we can run further. Get up close. And Rorosaur, sprint up as far as he can. Zetius behind this tree, perhaps. Stardust up here and reaction fire. Probably miss if it's against the chosen, but it's worth a try. Uh, not really going to get much value out of one this turn. May as well stay there. Overwatch. Ava, just park yourself over here. You've done enough. In position. Now. Ten damage through the smoke. Are no she killed both of them. Why did she gain kinetic plating? What? Are you... Wait, no. Don't tell me reaction fire. Are you joking? There's so much BS to read through. It's hard to hold all of the nonsense that the Chosen can do and the passives they get in your head at one time. After taking damage... I, th I can't remember for sure, but I think somewhere in here there's gain ablative armor if people miss. But, like, I didn't think that would include reaction shots. Just the bloodthirst? No, that's just damage. So now she's in the smoke, still. This unit's mobility cannot go below zero. How, how would we even slow her down? Does she get red fog? Yes, she does. Okay, well, I can't even find um, the part where it says she gains ablative armor. Uh, do we have any more guaranteed hits? We do have grenades. If we can get close enough, which I don't think we can. I'll have to put Freeman in what? the open. Where? 
Uh, and we can hit her directly with a flame grenade again. That's that's something. Explosive that's very good, actually. Open in a way else can. Yes, they do. They really, really do. Now she's burning. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, do we have any 100%? We do. Morpheus. 5 to 9 damage. Hell yes. Let's get that mech out of the way for a sec. Morpheus, if you please. Potentially execute Chosen. Eight damage? Hell yes. Very nice. At one time, it would have been unthinkable that I might ever fall in battle. Now, it appears you have bested me once again. I'd say we owe our people a break after taking down that chosen commander. I doubt it'll be long before we see that thing again, though. Um, Jakobek maybe reload. Revenge, indeed. It's actually kind of crazy that we only lost two rebels and one of our best... No, not one of. Definitely the best rebel ever. Um, to only lose two rebels to the assassin is pretty damn good. I'm surprised how well we were able to go, at least for a while there. But then that one turn through the smoke just slash them both. Let's move already. Other than the chosen at this game, you seem a bit yeah. OP. Uh, give it a little time. <laughs> give it a little time. We're not gonna remain OP. I think we'll put you Moving about here. All the words help? At this point in the game. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Ragamuffin. Definitely steady weapon. Quan. You're in a pretty decent spot, actually. Yoshio. Over here. And is that the turn? Just in time for the nastiest wave of reinforcements as well. Well, that's not where I want them to be. We got a little spoiler with the hit point display there. Looks like two of them are alive but hurt. Stardust, if you please. Fantastic. Good job, Vorosaur. Yeah, no one's... Never mind. I was gonna say no one's getting good shots on these guys. Good of that mech to roll up there. We might actually get a good rocket. Okay. They... They may have made the worst possible move. They were in a pretty bad spot for us, but if uh, Rorosaur has a good angle... Are you kidding me? No. Okay, we're gonna have to gamble here. Uh, we move Rorosaur up and take the rocket shot. Its accuracy is gonna be greatly diminished, but I think it's obviously worth the risk. I mean, what are we risking? Uh, Rorosaur isn't going to have much else to do this turn to potentially be very useful. I don't think we've got anyone who can use a command to give Rorosaur one more action this turn. No. Alright. Rorosaur, if you please, Absolutely. move up a little bit. If you only had the rocket range upgrade, this would have been a guaranteed awesome turn. 
Uh, as it is, we've got supposedly plus or minus 2.8, 2.68 tiles of rocket spread. That's a blatant lie. It's always like double that. Uh, but if you please, Bakuretsu. Yeah. Not the worst. Two of them killed. Two of the biggest threats still remain, but I'll take it. It's a start. Uh, we can actually move right up and execute the... Um, what's it called again? Archon. But Jacobek's going to be left in a pretty precarious spot after that. I could try um, insanity a hundred percent. I think the weakest that insanity can do is just disorient though. We've got plenty of people to execute this guy if we need to, but we've got... Ooh, is that a flamer? Yeah, we've got bigger fish to fry over here. Two troopers on... Oh, that's a gunner. But both of them on two hit points with red fog. Not as scary as some of the other things we're dealing with here. I don't have any flame grenades left. It wouldn't do anything on this guy anyway. Uh, definitely might start with a frag grenade on the flamer. What do our snipers have to say about this? 100% execute gunner, 100% execute trooper, and nothing else apparently. Because apparently we can't see anything past this tree. That actually looks to be correct. Alright, I will most likely get Morpheus to execute gunner. We'll see how our other options line up first. 97% almost guaranteed kill on Archon. Let's go Stardust. Very nice. You can't handle me. And since you've got an action to spare, I might get you to reload or I might get you to hollow target. Uh, resistance mech doesn't have any missiles left. Uh, this guy does have phosphorus, so he can burn the mech. Four to six damage. If I can't kill him this turn, I wonder if it's better to just put the mech in front of him. I do have a flank on him with ragamuffin. So if we can break his armor a bit, we can probably kill him. Larius. I don't see how I'm going to deal with the big mech this turn. A hack would really be nice right about now. I could probably... Could probably kill the shield bearer with Jakubek. We may as well. Whatever you say. Just don't min roll. Fantastic. Not too shabby. Alright, so we need to put a million damage on the mech. And not quite as much damage on the flamer. Let's start with... Oh, our mech does have shred, right? There's no way our mech's going over there to kill something. Let me just check the radius of this thing. Let's see if we can't knock off some armor here. Oh, wow. That was better than expected. I wonder if we could potentially just kill it. Uh, yeah, we would have to min roll to fail to kill it. Let's go. Ragamuffin. Fantastic. You know that was good. 
All right, and then I wonder if I could get. I don't have a single strategy to mitigate the turn of this mech, unfortunately. Let's go finish off this guy. Ninety-six. Fantastic. And I will take the shot with Morpheus. So long, Gunner. I might have Morpheus hide, because if the mech sees him with no cover, it could be all over for him. Uh, but yeah, we've literally just got the mech to deal with. He'll probably use missiles, like, if I put enough red fog on him. Oh, that's great. Does, does Larius have piercing of some kind? Plus two armor piercing. That's against units in cover. I think there's one optional or sometimes perk that gives, like, additional piercing against targets that can't be in cover. But but this ain't it. I obviously can't soften armor with a Psy person. I could mind merge to give someone more ablative armor. Um, I think Zedius was looking like a good candidate to maybe try and tank it a bit. I don't know that I can necessarily persuade the mech to try to attack Zedius in particular, though. What's its damage like if it does a direct shot? Up to 14. That is terrifying. We've got 5 ablative here, and I could add, like, I think at least 2, maybe 4. If I go on Overwatch, I gain one more point of armor. The mech can't see Jacobek. How far can he move with the blue move? Way too far. Way too far. I can't see a good spot I could put um, Zedius. I can't give him aid protocol either. I think we just put him here. Give him mind merge. How much ablative does he get? Big Mac Nom Nom? Indeed. Five. Oh, wow. Um, 11. He gained 6 ablative armor. Okay, I really hope the mech wants to attack uh, Zedius now, out of all people. Let's hide over here and spread people out a bit because we don't want to present a target for micro-missiles. Um, I don't think I have the range for a grenade. Can't really see a good spot to move up to either. How about here? Maybe I can get burned, stabbed, and poisoned before the day's done. We'll bring Morpheus back I'm this way. Here. Stardust, something similar. Probably don't have to move that far back. Wouldn't have line of sight anyway. Finally. 
This guy's got four hit points, an SMG, and a dream. I don't think we'll have him try putting himself at risk. This guy's also on four hit points. I don't want to. Um... Maybe over here? And that's the turn. That's a miss. Where's he going? Don't tell him. Don't tell me he's like cheating on knowing where our guy is. He totally is. Welp. Jacobet critically wounded, but that's the mission. Jacobet, would you like to return the favor? I'm going. You know that Here we go. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Please tell me Jacobek at least finally gets a promotion and has a rapid reaction. GG, indeed. Could have been a lot worse. Twenty-three enemies, indeed. Nope. How many... How many high-level enemies does Jacobek have to kill for one promotion? Uh, we'll take biggest booms, though. On our best grenadier. 50% chance for plus 3 damage from grenades. Um, and plus... Grenade crits also grant another plus 1. Uh, damage to ongoing effects like fire. So, boosted cores, plus one damage, including plus one to fire. So, if we get a crit uh, with a fire grenade, they're actually going to take, instead of one to three damage for two turns, it's going to be three to five damage for two turns. On top of the large amount of damage to begin with. Nice name there, indeed. Alright. That could have been a hell of a lot worse. What do we have here? Rorosaur and Ragamuffin. I don't see them being close to each other in combat very often. Larius and Rorosaur, though? Absolutely. Let's go. Um, here we go. Randomize. What is even? What? 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 What is this poster supposed to be? United they stand? Larius and the Muton? United against Rorosaur? What? Larius, you have some explaining to do. Alright, cool. That'll do. And then, what's next? Uh, I guess we could try seeing if we can re-infiltrate this mission over here. Six days, eight hours. We're gonna have to spend intel. We're only gonna have five people if it's extremely light. We'll still gain like 9 intel and an intel package if we win. Shut up, Central. 
Alright, is Larius tired? Um, not really. 37 out of 42 will. Looking pretty good, actually. And... Rorosaur, with the power of friendship. How about we also... We can't take Jakku back now. Wounded for 24 days. Damn. Zetius, I guess? And how about Shmua? Shmua doesn't have a PCS yet. We don't really want to spend aim on a Grenadier, uh, unless we're going for a very specific set uh, spec, but not this time. Um, defense, I don't really think think so. Focus, no. I wouldn't bother with focus unless someone was just critically low on it. Uh, and we need a hacker for this one, don't we? Recover item. Let's try and get our new specialist leveled up. If it's extremely light, we should be fine with this. I mean, we've got Larius as well. I really don't like the low movement, though. You've already got speed. Uh, hold up. Can I... Can I afford... Combat Tactics... Uh, integrated Warfare? PCS bonuses are significantly improved. Hell yes. For 100, 150 supplies right now, that's really good. Vulture is better the sooner you get it. We're going to be left with 94 supplies after this. Also, wet work. Oh my goodness. I'm about to spend all of my supplies on these things. I think it's worth it, though. When do we get another supply drop? 19 days? Um, I think we do have an infiltration. We don't. One of the infiltrations we had to cancel was smash and grab. I think we're falling behind the curve, though. Um, we've got some decent equipment for a while. Let's get Integrated Warfare, Vulture... And double experience from kills. If I'd done that right before that mission, maybe we'd have some promotions now. Alright, let's go get that XP. So, Larius should now have the mobility to spare to carry the bullets, uh, the, the plus damage. Fantastic. So now the the basic piece, speed PCS is plus two. Uh, Zedius? No, wait. Russell first. Actually, I think I want to take Tumbles. Try and sneak up and burn something. Or some Flamer. I think we've, Tumbles is our only technical... Specked into Flamer, right? Yes. Alright, Tumbles. But we've got Rorosaur with a bond now. Alright, fine. Um, who else? We need a specialist. And maybe take our Psy up again? Seems good. We'll definitely boost this. Oh 
Might want to upgrade this mag rifle. Can I just borrow one that has stuff in it already? Seems good. Except I don't think Knoised can crit on reaction shots yet. So we'll just take the suppressor. Well, that was fun, indeed. What do we got? We got heals, we got hack, we got shooty shooty shoot, we got rockets, we got larius, we've got some guaranteed hits. I think that'll be fine. My computer just got unplugged, unfortunate. Was it a cat or a child? I think this will do. Away we go. In position for deployment. And what other missions do we have cooking? None? Okay. Three days your until counterintelligence is done. The most extreme among your kind. There is hypocrisy yes. questioning the elder's vision when in collusion with such savage beings. Savage. The of this research can only further our advances, Commander. Uh, I definitely want to crack open some data pads. Oh yeah, despite having all those supplies, we were bottlenecked on Illyrium crystals as well. And cause? Really? Okay, we'll have to try and get some of those. Let's finish scanning here and then maybe we'll look at the black market. Also look at what we might break down. Four days, 12 hours, resistance personnel times one, two, three, four, five, and a rookie. Uh, except we got the undying loyalty sit rep, that's still, that's kind of nasty. Four days is not a whole lot of time to infiltrate. Three days, 16 hours is even worse. Um, VIP capture, very light three days. That's not going to happen. This one, though. How many rebels do we have here? Quite a few already. This would push it way over the edge. Advent strength is only two. Can we spare people to make this happen, though? Probably? Surely. We've got Boovim and Friend back in action. Setting course for the Indian Regional Zone. We'll need to have one of our At least we got a shorter flight to the, um, the field if we're going to, make any progress towards our current to the black market now. Bond training four hours. Oh god damn it. Um, should I wait? Let's see what it would look like if we send five people. If we boost it. It's three days, 18 hours. I mean, we can still get extremely light. What if we try a small squad? Shinobi and a squaddy specialist. That's easily extremely light. We could go two shinobis. We could go up to four and still get extremely light. What if I try doing kind of a sneak mission but with a little bit of backup?
What would that backup look like? One psyop and one... Technical, perhaps? I want them to just, if something goes bad, do one thing and then get out. But we're mostly just going to try and sneak mission this. This could potentially mind control. And we can attempt insanity and then move away. A rocket kind of finishes our turn though. But then... It's gonna be hard to find a use for a sergeant. At this point anyway, we want to try and level him up. Okay. I'm not going to risk any equipment, we're just going to risk some low-level personnel for this. Try and get them some XP. Alright then, um, we've got some havens. Or a haven without a soldier right now. Let's put Shmua in. Seems good. And I guess keep Seven making contact. Sector two, Australia. Bond level three, fantastic. Hacky hack, extremely light, five days, 27 intel, start liberating the region. Uh, yes. Sit reps, high alert, impossible to maintain concealment when the mission starts. Huh. Let me just double check this one. This one is not high alert. Otherwise, it would have been a mistake to queue it up, as I did. This one's high alert. That should be fine. Probably. We do have Larius to scout a little bit. Hmm. Who would I even send? How about Buvim, Crimson, Tumbles, Midden, and Morpheus, potentially, for example? If it was that easy to come up with a list of maybes. Setting course for India. Then hopefully we can sort this out. The Skulljack to good use. We should have one of our soldiers equip it before they deploy. Uh, Tumbles and Morpheus, perhaps? Still looking at extremely light. We have someone with stealth. Do we have the equipment to support this? Probably. It is possible with a uh, spider suit and flesh uh, with a shinobi to get extreme damage from long range. Plus one damage for every four tiles of running distance from where they started their turn. So it's like plus two or three more damage depending on where you grapple from. Uh, 
what do we have here with move him? Definitely want to get low profile when we've got more AP. Flashbang would be good too, actually. Tough choice. Uh, for the moment, not so much. Um, we should probably be using the alloy plating for this. Make utility items available. Actually, what I really want on Crimson, unless we've already got Fortified Fortress. That's next level. Uh, I think on Crimson, I would like to see... the hazmat suit. I think you also get some kind of ability to reduce wound recovery times by this soldier by 8 hit points. I think there's some of that built in as well to the class. Uh, but I'd still prefer to prevent you from taking damage for now. 16 mobility, that's pretty good. Maybe we'll give you the ablative on top of... On top of the hazmat. No, 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 no. Oh, God damn it! Clicky, clicky, do it all again. Shut up, Central, again. Midden. Tumbles. I like to have our ambush person as the second. Buvim and Crimson. And then... Morpheus? So we don't have a lot of generic shooting here. We've got Morpheus sniping. Uh, Buvim, very good in getting up close. Damage. Probably should use an advanced auto loader, but we don't seem to have one. No, I think we'll take the uh, advanced expanded mag instead. Maybe you should take the elite mag. I want to keep it for a reaction shot, multi-reaction shot person. Suppressor might not be the worst idea, especially compared to hair trigger for this. Oh, we do have some auto-loaders. Just regular ones, though. So we get six shots before needing a real reload. As opposed to five shots before needing a proper reload, but then five more shots. I think that's probably fine. Why do you have an SMG? Make weapons available. Take a Sten gun. And suppressor. Cheap laser sight. And cheap auto loader. Okay. This all looks fine. Crimson's mobility, but not aim, is actually high enough that I would think about giving her 
pistol. Uh, field medic though. On crimson. Probably not. Smoker would be nice. Alright, is this the squad? Hacky hack, extremely light. We don't have a hacker. Okay. Do we try this without a specialist? I think we might have to. Yeah, I think we might have to. Sky Ranger deployed. We're in the pipe. Five by five. Okay. We get gas grenades in four hours. Nice. Oh, let's check on the black Avenger market while we're right next to it. Market is open. We got combat awareness. It's never good to buy alloys and crystals. Really, really bad rate of... Uh, really bad conversion rate. Anything we'd like to sell? We do have quite a few sectoid corpses, but I think we'd rather render them. We've only got one core. Hmm. I think we probably want to hold on to what we've got for now. Alright, back to making contact. For the Australian sector. And less than half a day left. We get one gas grenade. Proving Grounds is now on scopes. We can finally finally start having right. I've got other plans for you anyway. more than two scopes across the entire army. Glacier Wolf gets a promotion. Fantastic. What do you got? Glacier Wolf is our tanky gunner with poor aim, hail of bullets for guaranteed hits. Uh, and we were going to go demolition so we can delete a piece of cover so that someone else can shoot the target. Seems good to me. Bladestorm would be nice normally, but you're just going to miss all of your blades, so whatever. Uh, resilience? Negative 30% crit against you. That would actually be great. I think we'll take that. Um when we've got the spare AP. We also gave you Salvo and Smoker. Area suppression is bigger. Why did I pick Rapid Fire though? Maybe if you had grazing attacks, Rapid Fire would make sense, but with low aim and without grazing attacks, Then again, all of these, all three of these are aim dependent. So which would make the, which would be least silly? Maybe rapid fire for two chances to hit something. I don't know. Maybe rupture. If there's a chance we can get a high chance to hit something, it could be very important. Regardless, for now, we're just going with Demolition. Okay. Now we need to pick another Covert up. Uh, we've got a lot of choices right now. We 
recruit scientist, engineer, intense training for plus one mobility. That is huge. Uh, there's certain people that that would make a big difference on. Are there other things that we desperately need to do first? Supplies would be very helpful, but there are many, many ways to get supplies. Mech would be good always. Uh, no, I think, I think now's as good a time as any. The ambush chance is starting to get up there as well, and this one doesn't have an ambush chance. Alright, so who's hurting the most because of mobility? Yatuwatu? That would actually be pretty huge if we could give Yatuwatu plus one mobility. Uh, there's no one available right now who fits the bill anywhere near as much. And there's no one that super duper comes to mind. I just upgraded the mobility on Larius by getting that uh, improved bonuses from PCS. But yeah, Yatuwatu as a... an assault... Uh, really, really, really needs the mobility to run up to someone and shoot them in the face. That's why I picked Slugshot, because the mobility is so bad. But getting up from f f uh, 13 mobility to 14 would be a really big help. I should probably give Yatu a um, spider suit, potentially. But then he doesn't have that much health either. But yeah, I think that'll be worth it. Intense training, Yatuwatu. Off you go. Understood, Commander. My followers will appreciate the support of your soldiers. Five days. Alright, we scan. We still don't have contact here. Nine hours, not gonna happen. Ignore. And we finally find ourselves in Australia. One more hop, and we can do the black site. That's going to cost a lot of intel, though. 160, because I built a radio tower here, I think it was. Yeah. Alright, let's put... Hey, Sloder's back. Let's put Freeman on Haven Advisor duty again. Uh, we do need intel, but we don't need new missions right now so much. Whatever, we've got our supplies coming from here. Should we do heal faster, potentially? We've only got two people wounded, one of them's 21 days and... One of our star rangers, though. Sigma Bean is also our only hacker. Um, I think that's pr probably worthwhile. At least speeding up healing until we have Avengers Sigma Bean back. New okay. Target acquired, 4 days, 18 hours, very light. Item, 28 intel package. Uh, what was the sit rep? Uh, undying loyalty again. I don't really want to queue up another mission right now. Especially because I think I would have to boost that one. Nine days, 11 hours, extremely light sabotage. 34 intel. Very, very easy. Relatively. Uh, it's also going to bring advent reinforcements into this area where we've got only two strength. Um... 
This is kind of our, our nice little... Wait, where was that mission? Not that one. No? Oh, okay, I kept clicking the wrong one. It does have undying loyalty, though. But yeah, I'm not that keen on the get advent's attention part. Um, unless it reduced the strength in another area. Why are you all hiding? We do need intel pretty badly, though. Oh, that's why it happens. I click here, but it puts me on that mission. Nine days. Maybe I could queue up a lot of our weaker soldiers. And a couple of veterans to help carry them. I believe I have at least one shinobi who is set up with... Uh, lead by example, I think it's called? No. Leadership? That's not it. Uh, trial by fire. Here we go. Anyone below sergeant is automatically promoted at the end of a successful mission by I am this guy. Who do we have? Not as many people as I thought. Maybe we'll skip this one. Yeah, I th think we'll skip this one. Let's get people healed. Uh, some mission is ready to go, or at least is at 100%. Extremely light, that's as good as it's going to get four people. So this is our attempt at a sneak mission, but with some backup just in case. I haven't even given them good equipment. We've just got some psi powers and rocket or flame in case things get bad. Looking very sneaky over here, our Psy operative is. We've also got Undying Loyalty, so all the more reason that we wouldn't want to... to fight. I can't remember what resistance contacts does. Oh, uncover civilians present. Can be contacted to gain valuable rewards. Maybe we can gain something useful out of this even if we don't complete the mission. Heading there now. We see nothing. I'm on the move. What do we get for hacking this thing? Probably nothing. Reflexes or squad disguised signals? Yeah, no. Uh, so we either get something that's only good for combat, which we're avoiding, or everyone gets uh, stealth, which we've already got.
It's trying to decide who to where to move up where and when. Um it's maybe a little risky to put someone straight up here. Because drones. What kind of building is this? Oh, it's one of those. That's a uh, kind of a long way to the evac. Kind of a very long way to the evac. Moving out. I don't like our chances of completing this mission in its entirety. We'll probably end up slinking away from this one. Let's put our shinobi over here. And let's move up here for now. Alright, let me get a peek up this way. And perhaps here. We see nothing. Moving to designated coordinates. We still see nothing. Beat beat. We still see nothing. Okay, it should probably be safe to go here. And this is a little sketchy, but it should be fine. There's only up to nine enemies. Only six if we're extremely lucky. We hear a door. I think they just went through this door over here. We still don't see that. I believe that is one of our civilian friends. Kind of awkward to try and say hello to them, though. Rolling. Oh, is that another one? No, I think it's only the civilians with circles around them. I want eyes on those enemies. Is it just... It was something with 10 hit points, 1 armor. Definitely, definitely double plus don't want to tangle with that. Oh boy, they're so far away. I really don't think this mission's going to be feasible. And I guess let's move our shinobi back here a bit. Confirmed. Shh, I think I heard something. It'll be fine, indeed. Ragnarok, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. That's not where I wanted to see those guys going. I don't know why I can only see one hit point bar. Oh. So I think I saw Longbow Mech, Rocketeer, and Drone. And they're also exactly where I would potentially sneak in to hack here. Yeah, that's not so good. That's affirmative. We see another civvy. Alright. I kinda wanna see what happens here. Got it. here. Move out. What do we get? Uh we may never know. I 
really have a good line of sight here. If they come closer, it could be a problem. Got it. Do we see them? We do not. So we can probably... Okay, for not being able to see them from here, they're closer than I thought they would be. That's a hunter drone as well. I do not like this one bit. Maybe I should blow a hole in the wall and try and run these people out. Why is the... Why does the evac have to be 600 kilometers away on the mission where I try to do this quietly? Hmm. All angles lead to doom. Maybe I should just get one more bit of loot or whatever it is from from this civvy and get out. Good copy. Moving on target. Orders confirmed. Moving out. Overwatch. Where are they gonna go? I heard a smashy smash, but it looks like that drone didn't move. Which probably means that whole squad didn't move, but actually I can't see... What? What's in this tile that I can't move there? I thought I saw there was a rocket person standing there before, but if they were, I should be able to see them? No, they're still there. I don't know why I can't see them. Alright. Um, we're not smashing through this window. We're probably not going through this door. I could climb up here, but then what good would that do? I think we should just get out of here. I think this is one of those discretion better part of Valor moments. Uh, there could be a drone way back here. No need to we should at least be a little bit careful. Moving to designated position. Double time. Move, move, move. Oh, there is a drone. It's probably maybe just as well I didn't go all the way back as far as I could. Alright, uh, Kali can almost get out already. I don't know exactly where that drone is. I'm a little bit scared of going around this way. We do have a ladder up this way, though. That should be fine. Copy that. And let's get our shinobi way back here. Solid copy. And so on. Beat feet. Roger that. All right, let's book. Moving to designated coordinates. Double time. Move into position. Roger that. That's it. I'm gone. Commander, we failed in our mission. Well, we'll need to review our Wait, we got plus two skill points for a difficult mission even though even though the mission's failed? Alright. Maybe I'll exploit that. 
peacekeepers expressed confidence that the so-called resistance organization is on its last legs. Why not celebrate by visiting your local Advent Burger? Why not? Obviously no promotions. We did get 13 supplies. That is not nothing. Especially when we now have a total of 32. Alright, is Bu uh is Sigma being healed yet? Four days. Not even close. Someone is now available for recruitment. Um I'm not seeing anyone with Oh, hello. Thirty one Psy. Decent health, negative 10 dodge, 31 psi. Uh, kind of low on the will, I guess. I'm hardly going to say no to 31 psi, though. Vedant Rangan. Get in there. Okay, how long is this? Four. It's only four days without a scientist. I'm not taking a scientist off for that. Two days, eight hours, liberation. Obviously not happening with two days. Six days, ten hours, engineer, very light. Uh, high alert, large map, maybe if we finish a mission short, like, could you stop for one second? Eight days, 17 hours, sabotage sealed armor, completely immune to fire, poison, etc. I think we kind of have to take that one. Do we have anyone about to be ready? Uh, kinda. One hour until 100%, but it's still light. We need to boost this. Data pad decryption is still three days? I might have to cancel this one. Mission in exp expiration is in 18 hours. I thought data pad decryption was a lot faster than that. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to cancel it. I don't see where I'm, where else I'm getting intel from anytime soon. I mean, this would be intel, but uh, we need to wait. One day, 14 hours. 18 hours until must launch. Uh, and we need to do a mission here anyway. I think we're going to abort Setting this one. For the West Asian corridor. Still, I miscalculated. I didn't realize the decryption would take that long. And then these two missions down here. We need to do Sabotage Transmitter. The other one that looked juicy was... Engineer. Because there's only one reward, I suspect it advanced, advances Liberation, but I'm not overly concerned by that. This one has to happen. Pretty much. Even if it's a temporary dark event, I don't want to deal with sealed armor. Setting course for Sector 16, Indonesia. So let me just double check. Shut up, Central. Let me double check. 
three days until datapad decryption. Uh, so we could definitely boost this one if we need to. You literally just said that, Central. Twelve seconds ago, maybe less. Uh, so transmitter, I think we just have to shoot the bloody thing. It has quite a few hit points. I, I remember the objective timer on this can be really, really harsh. So we want to really overdo it. We want plenty of direct firepower. We're still looking at extremely light. Can we afford a new cannon? I don't think think so. Glacier Wolf can take this one. Luckily it's impossible to miss the uh, transmitter. Should we take a sharpie for this? We'll probably be forced to move a lot. So maybe a grenadier or something instead? Can we take one more? Damsel perhaps? Very light. I think I prefer 6 versus up to 12 compared to 5 versus up to 9. Potentially. Is there a list of mods you're using? Uh, I believe there is. Burgers and fries, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let me just double check that I've done a mod list for XCOM. I'm pretty sure I have, just not in the down there part. I couldn't really... F yeah, I remember now. I couldn't really fit them all properly... Uh, so I listed the ones that count the most uh, in the mod command, I think. Let's check. XCOM mods. Yeah, here it is. XCOM 2 mods. I'd be doing better if my sleep schedule didn't get destroyed by laundry. By laundry, you say? Yeah, those are the ones that that matter the most. There's like a couple I couldn't fit in, but they're sort of optional. Oh, I think I cut out the ones that were like prerequisites for Long War 2, for example. Or Long War of the Chosen. My sheets didn't get dry when I put them through yesterday. Oh no. Unfortunate. Okay, everyone in decent armor. Let's get damsel on SMG. Proper one. At least a laser sten gun. I'd like to give her a grenade launcher, but like, don't have any spare supplies. Oh, we have a gas grenade handy. Uh, I know there's someone with a spare long-range grenade launcher who's just being a haven advisor right now. Freeman? Or was it someone else as well? I'm pretty sure we can manage with a standard grenade launcher. If there's a... 
If there's a faceless. Commander, we'll need to have one of our troops equip the Skulljack for use in the field. Cool. If, make any if your battle screen is as smooth running as this looks, then I'm going to swap then because I tried to do a long war of the Chosen game recently, but I had trouble with it being uncomfortable to play. Yeah, when I first loaded it, um, some kind of mod conflict had the frame rate at negative two. Um, who else was I taking? Damsel and anyone else? Maybe I should go for five. Do we have a spare flame grenade? We do not. Can we afford one? We can. Surprisingly cheap, actually. It's the Purify Corpse that's the bottleneck. And there's pretty much nothing else I would want to spend them on. So let's go for that. Everyone all armored up. So two flame grenades, one gas grenade, one regular grenade. We could also give Damsel... Well, these extra passives don't make a whole lot of sense for the class. I guess I could give Infighter just so she's that little bit more likely to survive. Because none of these help with attacking. Sloder has 10 spare. Uh, we're going to give him low profile once we've got some more points. That seems fine. Every second we take two frames away. Uh-oh. Alright, I think that's about as good as it's going to get. I don't think it's worth adding one. I don't know. Yeah, we do have... We, we've got a lot of firepower here. We've got good... Uh, power density. We can bring power to a point better with fewer people if they're well equipped and stuff. And because we've got so few turns to kill the transmitter, I think that might actually be better compared to 6v12. Let's go. You said mon co mod conflict had you at negative 2 FPS. Indeed, yes. Unfortunately, some stuff like uh, Preview Line of Sight just isn't as good as when I played uh, not long, uh, not of the Chosen, just Long War 2. But I guess there's nothing for it. Alright, let's pass some time. I think I want to gain intel, honestly. We're very, very low on intel. Our cooperation has proven to be a Yatuwatu is no longer a slow assault. Very nice. Uh, we do need supplies. Do want the resistance mech, but the supplies are kind of urgent right now. Both of these only have two people, so if we get ambushed, it's just as bad. Let's send... Probably Yatuwatu and maybe Zikra? No, let's send I Am The Sky. It would be good if we had more swords though. Hmm. I think we've literally got one upgraded sword between all of our what can I 
do for you, Commander? Our entire army. Uh, we're actually just missing supplies to make another one, though. Which is what we're after with this mission. Maybe I should have sold something. As far as I can tell, Advent's technology, along with most of what we've seen going on in the city centers, is based on very... Oh, Yatu doesn't have armor. And in some cases, improvements of the existing alien tech used during the invasion. Luckily, the more common the stuff becomes, the easier it'll be for us to find components that can work in conjunction with the Avengers hybrid systems. Nah, uh, the spider suits are too precious and too much better on... Too much of an improvement for snipers at this stage. To start using them on an assault that's probably not going to get ambushed this time. Who are, we, who are we going to send with Yatu, though? A PSYOP? That might not be the worst idea. Some guaranteed hits. Uh, I'll send Jake. We need him to level up, and he's kind of... Frankly, more expendable at this point. Not without some armor, though. Can't afford a Siam at the moment. That'll have to do. Alright. So, Yatawatu and Jake Johnson. 38% ambush. Oh, wait. Gather supply. I have to pick them again. Uh, Alright, 39% ambush. 27% failure, I'm not too fond of. We'll get the job done. Don't worry, Commander. But I am worried. Okay. Uh just about time for a mission, I think. Fifteen hours until a hundred percent. Let's go. Uh, keep getting intel. Never played Long War 2. Also didn't quite beat War of the Chosen. I did play it to the point of boredom. I have all upgrades. Two Chosen killed and haven't done the gate mission. The gate mission is... You mean the last mission? Or is that... I don't remember it all that well. The last mission is... A absolute slog. You wouldn't want to do it more than once. Automated defenses. Light engineer two days. Not going to happen. What do we got? 100%. Extremely light. Let's go. So this is the one with only one stealth person. Uh, Crimson and Buvim. Tumbles and Morpheus. So not much mid-range... Well, basically no mid-range shooting. But we've got a lot of short-range power. And we've got sniping. I mean, expansion? Did beat XCOM 2 before they did the expansion. I have a strong suspicion that the last mission isn't changed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I... I don't remember for sure. I think I did beat Long War. I mean, just War of the Chosen just once. Um, and it was basically the same end mission, if I remember. I don't... I don't want to say that with too much confidence. We're starting on the highway. Menace one five. This is Avenger. The access point okay, then. we're after is just ahead. Move to secure the area. That is not what I would resistance. call just ahead. And we've got evac with flare. Might be good to evac here. We can hack from outside. Oh wait, we don't have a hacker this time. Alright. Well, let's grab our only person with concealment and have a look up here. We'll probably maybe take the highway as far as we can. Tumbles, up you go, Boovin, up you go, 
and so on. Probably should have checked where each of them could move first, but that actually worked out. I think I heard something down to the left here. Corners confirmed. Moving out. We see Snick. And I think a trooper and something else. Let's park ourselves about here and see if we can't see any more. Uh, that is indeed a trooper with only six hit points. I'm gonna run Boovim over here. Actually, with our uh, high alert, with only one pe uh, with with only our shinobi starting with stealth, I shouldn't have brought tumbles. Flamethrowers excel when we can start with concealment. Oh well. Um, but yeah, with uh, with those conditions, this is actually starting up on this uh, highway is ideal, honestly. Now, I'm tempted to try... If I could grapple from here to here, it would be a lot easier. But I'm tempted to try getting a snipe with Morpheus. Um, we know at least for a moment we won't see anything if I park Morpheus here. I could try leaving him standing, like, in the open like this. It might be safer. Safer from being spotted, not safer if he's spotted. Google suggests the difference is that Living Chosen joined the fight. Oof. I don't know who... With Long War of the Chosen, I don't know how you could get that far with Living Chosen still existing. Because they'll... they'll force an attack... ...on the Avenger. I don't know which is correct here. Well, if you say so. Let's try it. We can also grapple for a different angle, but there's only one spot to go to. And it sucks. There's no cover. Alright, they're moving away. We got a stun lancer down here. Oh! And they've seen us. And they've ruined our... No, we've still got our stealth. Oddly enough. Um, don't know why he got a free action here. Considering they were unaware at the start of the turn. That's pretty cringe. We do have a flamethrower to use on him. Also very weird that he would run up here and go overwatch when he's got us all flanked. Alright. Let's see what our best option is here. 90% actually on Heavy Lancer despite the heavy cover. We could potentially one-shot him. It's probably worth a try. I want to keep Midden's uh, stealth. If I use Roust, this guy has to move, assuming I could actually hit him with that. Apparently I can't. Uh, but yeah, I think we'll probably start by setting you on fire. He's not on fire. Are you actually kidding me? He's panicked. That'll do. But I still can't move Midden. Uh, at least a Stun Lancer won't be able to run up here in one turn. Heavy Lancer. Nasty. I could move down and flank him. I'll probably do that with Boovin. But then we might get spot we would get spotted from over here, I almost guarantee it. I think there's a snake standing on top of this.
Um, this is actually pretty tricky. Should probably throw an evac flare just in case. We need an evacuation. I think it also moves the evac quicker than evac request confirmed. Hold if we just call it the first time. I could slice this guy with Boovim. Uh, I guess I'm definitely going to slice with Crimson. And a miss. Not too surprising. Templars in general have pretty bad aim, and Crimson's is no exception. I wish I could just get a flank on this guy, though. To attack twice with Boovim. Yeah, I think I think we're just gonna have to depend on Morpheus to potentially, but probably not one shot the heavy lancer. Not sufficient. I could use command, but I don't really see what that's gonna accomplish here. I could slice again and probably miss again. Do a small damage slice with this guy. All right. 90% Heavy Lancer. We missed? Really? What's the yellow bar? Uh, do you mean this one? That's ablative armor before we take actual damage. Holding this position. Uh, at this rate... I don't know. This is pathetic, honestly. For these two to give us that much trouble... That's fine. That's what that class is for. Oh, they're gonna spot us as well? That's the entire map, I think. One, two, three, four, five... Okay, that's got to be the entire map. This literally could not be going worse. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There could be one more drone somewhere. That's it. Um, I could vault these two? I don't think it'll actually hit both of them. It might. It's probably worth a try. See previous statement about pod control? I do wish the reboots were less about just doing pod control. As in, not fighting more than one at a time. Uh, if, I, if I had at least damaged this guy with the 90%, I could probably grapple here, shoot him... Kill him, get the action back from death from above, and then move to cover. But no, we had to miss the 90%. Also, how ridiculous is this that we literally just... We literally just got spotted once and then... Even though this guy wasn't on alert, he got a free action. And then here is the entire map. We literally haven't even moved since then. And we need to do the hack within five turns. Morpheus doesn't have a pistol or anything, so if he moves he can't fire unless he grapples. In which case, he can't... He almost definitely can't deal enough damage to kill this guy in one go. Midden... Uh, Midden only has... Six to ten plus four crit with the arc blade. We're gonna have to get Midden to kill this guy, I think. It's almost guaranteed. 
obviously we could try going another direction as well, but it's probably not going to go so well. We really need to not be exposed and bunched up against the Rocketeer. How much damage is this? Four to seven? We could potentially kill him with one action. It would clear his overwatch as well. I think we kind of have to. One off. And who do we rend? If we're extremely lucky, we can one-hit this guy. I don't believe that's worth really considering. But the only other option is to go for... Uh, the drone. But if we do go for the drone, we could sit here with one for all and tank some shots. How much damage can we do the, to the officer if we don't move? Uh, probably exactly eight. Which is not quite what we're looking for. Tumbles also can do some stuff. Could probably rocket these two. We'd have to stay here and be exposed if the officer lives. Who is not on fire, by the way, despite eating a flamethrower to the face. Pretty big spread, though, on the rocket. Because we're not rocket spec. The only way Boovim is getting a flank double shot is by going down here, which is obviously not great. I could have him go down here, grapple up here, shoot this guy, and then potentially... Well, if I could grapple to there, I could hit them both, but he'd just be, like, stuck. I could kill the drone. 100%. It is only a drone, it's not a hunter drone. But it could stun us. Move down here, grapple, free shot. Be exposed to everything. No, I don't like that very much. I think with Midden, we do have to go for the Heavy Lancer. I'm spotted. Probably should have used Incoming first. So now Morpheus can 100% Drone, 91% Trooper, 80, 80, 71, 71. 100% Rocketeer, maybe I should have done that first. Or at least seen that I could have done that and then weighed my options before doing this with Crimson. Uh, if I at least scratch this guy... Then we can finish with Boovim. Hmm. 92% to grapple attack to this guy. What would I do from there? Good question. I don't think after missing that 90% that I want to chance anything. Also, the trooper isn't that scary. Okay. Um, if I would like to grenade over here, that would be nice. All right, see how much damage this does. You will pay the price. Okay, that's good. That's good. 
So now we grenade over here. Kill the rocketeer. Shred the drone. Are you playing on a difficulty or with a mod that turns off XCOM 2's player favored RNG entropy? I have no idea. Um, and then we can either 97% this or 100%, but there's rays. It's about the same. Oh, there's way more grays on this one. I think we'll take the slash. And then the question is, do we one for all or do we move up? I think we one for all. And Tumbles, who is now no longer exposed, can hopefully get a lucky rocket down here. That was underwhelming, but at least it did something. Um, we've still got a 100% chance to execute drone. Elite Trooper. No, I, I think I take the guarantee. Oh, God. Elite Trooper's not close enough to grenade or anything. We've only really got our snipe left. We should be able to draw all their fire with this. Drone shouldn't be able to accomplish anything next turn. But if I if I gamble and lose my actions. We already got screwed over by 90% this mission. I don't want it. And this way we can definitely steady weapon. Snack is going to go somewhere useless. It's going to miss. Fantastic. Trooper is going to shoot at the same person. Miss. Fantastic. This one I'm a bit more scared of. But we've still got lots of ablative armor. Oof. Alright, one more threat. Okay, no real damage. Fantastic. We've lost two ablative hit points from the actual armor, as opposed to the abilities. Uh, Buvim can get a flank on Snack. Shoot twice, but be exposed to the, uh... I was gonna say officer, it's actually a sergeant. Crimson can... Probably kill... Well, not... No, it's pretty unlikely to outright kill. But should be able to deal a decent amount of damage to the elite trooper. Um, could almost definitely kill the Lobi. What have we got with Morpheus? 100% guaranteed kill on basic trooper. 100% with no uh, graze on elite trooper. But if we low roll, we don't kill him. 96% actually. Damn. Orpheus' aim is crazy. Even if this is with the, uh... Elite stock. Um... I really, really, really don't want to miss out on Morpheus... ...having... ...steady weapon for next turn, because we could probably use that to execute the sergeant. Maybe I should kill the sergeant. I mean, the chances aren't guaranteed or anything. We'd have to high roll. Um, I think I want to, like, pretty much guarantee Morpheus can kill this guy, use steady weapon, hit the sergeant hard next turn. 
Okay. There's the objective. Better than expected. Crimson does have immunity to poison and fire. Uh, where we go with Midden? Oh, we can only kill this guy with Midden. I was going to say that's going to affect our decision with Morpheus. So now we have to use Morpheus to try and high roll someone. And I think it's going to be the Sergeant because we can get flanks on the Snick with Boovim. Oh, we could also... Well, we could use advanced teamwork, but I don't think... Actually? Um, yeah. We could use advanced teamwork. One more action for Crimson. Morpheus, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. That's just how I roll, even after missing a 90% shot. Indeed. Uh, there's a ch there's a small chance of killing Snek outright, but more importantly, we're going to damage it, get up close, use our defensive ability, and this is another execution for Morpheus. Or for Boovim. No, Boovim can't move, because he just used... Uh... You can use it twice in one turn? That's crazy. Oh, that's... That's broken. Alright. Advanced teamwork again. Boovim just standing up there doing a cheerleading act for Crimson. And you missed. Oh well, now you're in this guy's face with ablative armor and taunt. And Morpheus can execute Snick. It's advanced for a reason, indeed. Midden, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, we steady, and then we've just got Tumbles, who is frankly not going to be that useful this turn. I think I might run Tumbles toward the objective for the hacky hack. Someone has to do it. It's a two use per combat thing, indeed. I'm just surprised that we could use a, both of them in one turn. Um, alright. We can... Vault to make this guy even easier to hit. Actually, will, will that damage? No, it doesn't. It would have given a warning if it did. And just kill him. Probably. There we go. 90ely done. Not a single wound after that bad start. Tumbling satellite, if you please. Hacky hack objective. Very well played, thank you. Alright, 1% small supply ish. Tumbles make me proud. What a tease! He rolled like 98 or something. 97 maybe. Alright, let's get out of here. So Boovim's role this mission was mostly just to be a cheerleader. And what a cheerleader. This is Firebrand. It's time to go. We are out of here. As you direct. Oh, one more turn. We'll hang around just in case there's a drone or something. To 
That's it. Lawless victory. Really got to showcase... Yeah, there was a drone somewhere. Really got to showcase the power of that uh, tank ability. Revealed today's maneuver by local peacekeepers was a planned exercise. Citizens should not be alarmed. All weapon fire and wounds were simulated to better train Advent forces. Yes, that was a simulated rocket. Got another elite stock, uh, elite stock, and a, finally an advanced scope. I think that's like maybe our second for the entire campaign. Um, if we had any supplies, I would break it down so that we can make more of them. But we can't do that right now. Let's have a look at Midden's skills. Ooh, our first Reaper. Very nice. Let's go. Chain melee attacks, as long as you kill, you get actions back. Or an action back. Uh, but it gets le it, it gets to be less damage with each uh, attack. We've also got 16 AP available. I could almost see myself taking Hail of Bullets on Midden, just so we've got a guaranteed hit from afar. Because these other options... Okay, Infighter would be pretty damn good for a sword user, actually. Um, but I... Since your combat intelligence is very high, we're not going to get close encounters, it's too expensive. Uh, I think we'll just wait till you get promoted and not use the shared AP for that. I wonder if the repair costs were also simulated. Indeed. Morpheus. Finally has long watch. Fantastic. Uh, and we're only 90% short on getting plus two damage. No worries. We've got Crimson with Fortress. Very nice. Immune to explosive damage. Damn. So I don't think we really desperately need to carry the hazmat suit uh, on Crimson now. But it is three more hit points. So maybe until we get uh, the plus armor, we'll just keep that there. And that's it for the promotions now. All right. Supply run is four days. Four days, eleven hours until this is ready. And I don't know if there's any other missions we want to do. Don't really want to do the sabotage unless it's to take a bunch of newbies along to get leveled up. And they're kind of spread out at the moment. Or are they? Do we bring them back? Stop misclicking. Well, that is an image and a half for Midden. Uh, we kind of do have all of our newbies available. Should I queue this up? I think we do need the intel. Setting course for the Indian Regional Zone. 
We do have 40 now, that's something. Commander Tigan and Shen aren't going Ugh. to be happy if we Actually, the maybe this is use. the mission to do the Skulljack. I believe there are no reinforcements on this mission. So it might be the best opportunity by far. Let's take... Uh, I wanted to take I Am The Sky, actually. So we could get some juicy promotions. And let's give I Am The Sky our one sword. Some more plating. Health is not that high. Uh, Predator armor, actually. Ten. It's okay, I guess. What's your aim like? 69. That's pretty bad for a... What? What? Anyway, soldier abilities. Uh, what do you got? Dedication, cutthroat. Cheat the Viper, maybe. The Wasp, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, you don't have any abilities for guns at all. Oh, you're going to be a flanky, eventually. Yeah, for a sergeant, your aim isn't. Well, that's kind of bad, but you've got Lone Wolf. Locked on. Locked on, yeah, that's probably what pushed me over the edge to use hit and run here. Okay. Uh, anyway, let's give you a laser SMG, I think. And I want some people below sergeant, but I also want enough uh, to bring enough back up to make sure we're not going to lose to overconfidence. Definitely want to bring a Psyop. This is an excellent opportunity there. And... Double Specialist? No, this one's too weak. 68 aim on this gunner who's only a squatty isn't that bad. Uh, I'm not seeing anything exciting here, though. It's a bit late to be looking at the potential of squaddies that much as well. I wish the um, Trial by Fire worked a little bit higher than Sergeant. So yeah, let's bring in Stardust, I think. And a couple of E-teamers. How about Boovim and Crimson again? That's very light. Can we jam in a couple of suppressors and bring it up to 100%? Yes, we can. Uh, why did we strip the Maglong Rifle? Oh no. Should I take Morpheus instead? Nah, that's probably fine. Stardust. Advanced Laser Sight. Okay, surely we can do better than a regular hair trigger for our Reaction Sniper. Apparently we can't. Maybe I will bring Morpheus for this one. They're both Staff Sergeants. 27 out of 29 will remaining. Elite Stock, Advanced Scope, and Advanced Suppressor. And then on the SMG here. 
How about another laser SMG, just to be safe? Suppressor... Alright. That gets us to 101%. Oh, we do have Formidable on Crimson. I forgot about that. That's quite good. So you've got two ablative hit points built in. I think this will probably do... Seems good. Cobbat intel very low makes her an excellent melee specialist. <laughs> oh no. In position to drop. Okay, review target seven days, fifteen hours, neutralize, get advance attention. I don't think we really want that, especially will to survive. Is this permanent? Yeah. I think that's literally just will. Oh no, bonus armor. When in cover. No. Um, but yeah, how many people do we have available right now? How many people have we well, lost? More than I thought. Years serving the resistance. Oh, this is including the mooks. We lost Lazic to uh to the most dangerous uh advent trooper in the universe, or the multiverse probably. Uh, Dope Dog got done wrong by RNG with long range uh, Muton that was disoriented. I don't remember all of them. Anyway, what was I doing? Seeing how many people we've got available. Um, we could maybe field one more. Just destroy more cover? We do have that ability on Glacier. Oh, Light Moderate. There's no way we're queuing this up. I'm pretty sure. What's the Advent Strength here? Five. Okay. Alright, let's get some more intel. For the Arctic territories. We really need one more contact as well so we can go after the Black Site. It's already September. We have made a number. I we forgot to take the... Commander. Oh, no. I forgot to take the Skulljack on the mission that would be easiest to use it. Oh, well. It's not that hard. What are we doing next? Uh, we've got nothing but disassemble and render uh, research left at the moment because we don't have supplies. Or Illyrium. Um, I should check Just give the word and what I'll we've got some spares me. of. Lots of troopers, but we kind of want a few more of those for ablative armor. We probably don't have to hold on to 14 of them, though. Um... We're definitely holding on to the stun lances. Officers, I think. I don't remember. I wish it would tell you everything that these corpses are needed for. I've got five drone wrecks. I know I need those for better. Uh, better hacky hack. Better drones. I think. 
think we had a bunch of spare snakes, right? And faceless, but we used the faceless for the good ammo. We've got 12 sectoid corpses. I don't think we need that many. And seven viper corpses. All right. Let's do a few sectoid corpses. We get three alloys. That's it. That's so bad. How do we get... Do any of these give us anything but alloys? We get crystals from Faceless. I'll probably have to do a couple of those. And the rest is alloys. Okay, I th think we will do at least one Faceless. What are the basic and engineering research things? Uh, basically, you invest time now to research everything else faster later on. Uh, engineering research, uh, they, they basically, I think, make it act as if you've got one more scientist or engineer. Um, so basic research, I think it makes you go faster later on. Um, engineering research, I don't think... It's not like you gain engineers, but there are projects that require X number of engineers. Um, I think that's what that applies to. So if you're desperately having trouble getting one more engineer for a certain um, thing you need to build. Okay. Also, if I recall correctly, Proving Ground project time depends in part on total engineers, really? Speaking of which, can I afford... Nope. We desperately need those supplies. I think you will find our results have exceeded expectations. Only two crystals as well. We'll do one more. And then we'll do some sectoids, maybe vipers. Eight days, ten hours, hacky hack, extremely light. That is very attractive. Let's queue it up and maybe do the setting course for second. Uh, the codex. India. We've also got Sigma back now. What's wrong only shows in black market? What does? It seems even oh, that right. can barely control them. I, would strongly I think that was one of the mods that I had to disable because things were things were all fucky. Alright. So we'll take maybe Midden. If we had one more sword, I would feel better about taking a shinobi. Stardust perhaps. We need a specialist. Luckily we've got Sigma Beam back. Uh, we still have the basic gremlin, unfortunately. Where is the upgraded gremlin? Mine Mousecraft? Thank you very much for the sub. With Prime, much appreciated. Thank you. Good morning to you as well. Uh, yeah, I was right. These do cost drone wrecks uh, and 20 supplies is what we need. And we get, like, I think plus 20 hacking or something. Uh, but yeah, we'll be giving Sigma the Skulljack, I think. Actually, the Skulljack gives plus hacking later on, but we need to unlock it with expensive research. So for now, it makes a lot more sense to just put it on Midden, perhaps. I really wish we had one more sword for our first Reaper. I'm pretty sure it's not available right now. No, it's not. Hmm. Alright. Uh, I think we will take Zetius. And... Can I take anyone out? Haven Advisor Shmua. Not really. Uh, also... I think Freeman. Both of our best Grenadiers are on Haven Advisor right now. 
So is Ragnar an assault? Ragamuffin didn't level up from that uh, encounter with the Chosen either. He's still a squatty. That's so rude. Hmm, we're actually more short on people than I thought. Okay, we've got slightly uh, weaker sword, Reaper. Well, not slightly, it's significantly weaker. Uh, we've got... There's not that much equipment to go around either. It's one of the reasons we don't just queue up everything we can. We've got eight days, maybe we could finish another mission? before we do this one? Or maybe we could just fill it out with a couple of grenadiers. Yeah, we've really dedicated a lot of resources to these two. I could get Ragnar and Freeman. And or Shmua. Where'd that mission go? Here it is. Commander Tigan and Shen aren't going to be happy if we don't put the Skulljack to good use. We should have one of our If it's extremely light, and we have a slightly weakened midden. Stardust. Sigma bean for hacking. And we could have up to two Grenadiers and an Assault. Or we could take Zedius with the Laser Cannon. A little bit less damage. I don't like that when we're already a bit low on damage with the Sword. Lots of damage with our Grenadiers though. Let's find out if we can squeeze in six people. Or... No, I think we've only got one shard gun and Yatuwatu already has it. So two grenadiers... We'll need to have one of our troops equip the Skulljack for use in the field if we're going to make any progress towards our current objective. Shut up, Central. Sigma Bean. Couple of Grenadiers. And... What do we got? Extremely light still? No boost? Could maybe take Tumbling as well? Still extremely light? Okay. Alright. I, I could see this working very, very easily. We need some more armor. Shmua doesn't have as many hit points. Uh, I could potentially do what I did with Freeman and, and add hit points this way. Except we don't have that available right now. Advanced Perception plus 8 aim. Damn. Who am I going to give that to, I wonder? Did I see a soldier with Bean 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 in the name? Uh, this one? It was Sigma Bean Bean. Sway, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, weapons available. There's not much left to go around. One laser rifle, one mag rifle. I don't want to put a rifle on Bean. I want the mobility. Mag 
Maybe I should swap out one of these grenadiers. I can't afford a gas grenade, can I? Absolutely not. Uh, wasn't I thinking about taking a PSYOP? Two hours until you're trained? Do we have that much time to waste? What if I wait two hours? That should be fine. Okay. Let's wait two hours for our PSYOP to be trained. And then queue up the mission. Commander Tygen and Shin yes, Central. Okay. We should have one of our soldiers equip it before they deploy. Sigma Bean. Freeman. Um. Tumbling? Should I take Tumbling or Zedius? Or maybe I should have taken both. I th think tumbling is going to be a lot less useful once the codex shows up. So despite the laser... The laser gun... We'll probably take Zedius. And where's our Psyop? Can the Psyop even damage the codex though? Maybe we'll take Tumbles and Zedius after all that. Alright, cool. That should be fine. Let's get you some reaction fire. Uh, maybe an autoloader. Suppressor, perhaps. I thought Tumbles already had stuff on his stutter mag. Apparently not. Or maybe I accidentally stole it. Where's your armor? And where's your armor? Oh no. Oh no. Uh, I think. Wait, I thought Shmua had some. Nope. Hmm. Give the AG old Freeman. Maybe I should just take five? Unequip Barrack? I did. Zetius, make armor available. Nothing. That six hit points is making me nervous. Um, uh, maybe we just just take five people. Name her One Use Mimic? What? Just join and hear Oh No, I guess it's going wonderful, indeed. Johan Anderson, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. I could give Zedius more hit points with... nope, never mind. Hmm... I guess we keep Sigma out of the way. Oh, 
which we do anyway. Except, uh, the codex can just teleport. I don't like this. I think we should take five people. And I think flamethrower is going to be least effective once the codex shows up, even though this is just a laser cannon. Alright. That's our best option. And... I guess Midden isn't taking a good gun. Or a good sword. Okay. I'll give you infight before we go though. You're pretty tanky. You're very tanky. Oh, that's probably fine. Don't forget to fix this in so far as we can. It's not going to be a long mission. I'm not worried about the reloads. Probably take the elite stock. A tumbling? Long War of the Chosen, aka The Suffering Continues? Oh, I'm on this mission? Or not? Yeah, I don't think your flamethrower and nothing else is going to do that much against a codex. Freeman always with the many points to spend, but nothing to spend them on as a grenadier. Alright, let's go. We can probably afford to take some medkit on Bean as well. Not sure if digital representations can be set on fire, indeed. In Alright, what's our next mission? Probably this one. One day, 15 hours. Let's grab some more intel. Setting course for sector one, the Arctic. Uh, and I think... Well, I was gonna say I should probably put one of the scientists back on... Oh, is that... Yeah, one wounded. What do we got? I think it's uh, Jacobek. For six days. That's not that much. Let's put you back on research. And we may as well... After this faceless corpse is done. Our research was a success, Commander. We may as well do a basic research. That is an important task, Commander. At least I've got a cool flamer, indeed. Okay, shield power coil is done. And we get 22 crystals. Oh, thank goodness. That's what we've been short on. Well, we're short on a lot of things now, but that is a key thing we've been short on. Uh, I guess since we've got a couple of spare engineers, we'll just park them in here. And we still have three uh, locations, uh, three places to build things. The only stuff we can still build is a lab, power relay, and resistance comms, is what I would say, except we don't have the shadow chamber yet. So we'll only be building two of these. We've already got enough power, I think. We're probably never going to build a lab. We will have to build resistance comms more than likely. Our people seem to work well together, Commander. Um, there's our supplies. Nice. So, what are we doing next? What's our highest priority? How long have we got till a supply drop? Whoops. Uh, only eight days. So I think that's two more resistance ring missions until 
this all gets reset. Ability points and ob re obtain resistance mech, I think, are the ones I want the most. Ability points, we can take three people. So I think I'll do that next, since the chance of ambush will be higher. So we'll just send Yatu and... Who was it they went with? Oh, the Psyop. The Psyop didn't get up, uh, didn't get a promotion yet, either. Let's take the Psyop that has higher mobility. That makes a lot more sense. Jake Johnson was... What the? Improved Psyop field armor? What? Since when? Uh... What? Kevlar armor, health, nothing. Okay. What? Now it's gone. But I didn't think it did anything, it just said health dash dash. Um, okay. Never mind. Oh, you did get a promotion. What the hell? Why couldn't I see it? Uh, I th think it just means that I have to toss him back into the Scilab to cook. Yeah, 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 there we go. That's how that works. Alright, we get to pick from one of three skills. I don't think all of our Psyops are going to end up having the same options. Although we'll likely have the chance to take most of these every time. Uh, transfers damage done back to the Psyop as health and grants ablative hit points for three turns, increases the cooldown of Soulfire by one. I don't think I like that. It also doesn't tell me how much damage it's going to do. Or does it turn Soulfire into this? Yeah, 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 it's a side grade for Soulfire. I think the last thing I want to do is increase the cooldown of our guaranteed hit. Because that's like the best thing about the Psyop, honestly. If an enemy is carrying explosives, they can be remotely detonated? Free action? Okay, yes. I do want Fortress eventually, but... Uh... Damn. That's pretty damn good. Use this free action kind of OP? Yeah, it is. It's also less time to train. Fuse is hilarious? You're telling me. Uh, I think I will put a scientist in here to speed things up. Or even two. We, we don't have that much going on. Now it's only seven days. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Uh, let's assign uh, Yatuwatu again. Yes. And I th think the other Psyop. Even though the failure chance is 35%. Can I actually do a lot better with that? 3% if I take Shmua. And we should have one armor that we can give Shmua. Yes. I don't have a spare advanced grenade launcher. Uh, but that's probably okay. Only trouble is Shmua is kind of slow. It's probably fine. I'll order my people to get underway immediately. Oh, we can do... Nothing? Because we have no Illyrium cores? Normally, I can't help but have a lot of Illyrium cores. This, uh, this playthrough is a bit different. Okay. 84% on Spearhead. We scan. We 100%. We have very light. We've got 2 days, 12 hours. 
I believe this one was going to be extremely light without boosting. Let's give it some more time. Uh, just a bit under six days light resistance personnel. I don't think we need to focus on that right now. Four days, eight hours, extremely light supplies. That's not a, not a lot of time, but I really like supplies. I just want to double check this. Um, large map. Did it did it offer us any new soldiers? No, and we've already got quite a few resistance personnel. This one though, I don't. I don't know if we're going to be able to. Oh, the lost are here. That's always fun. Impossible to start with concealment, except for shinobis. That's... If we had more time, I probably would. And we don't have that many people available right now. And we don't have that much equipment available. I think we should pass. We got a new specialist. Uh, what kind of specialist are you going to be? Pack 43. I really need to find out what the averages are for specialists hacking. Uh, what do we got though for extra abilities? Average combat intelligence, 70 aim. I think I'd like you to be a shooter. We've only got like one in the works as it is. Medical protocol, ever vigilant, pull under pressure, probably threat assessment, and you could also get rapid fire eventually. Low profile is very good. Fortify is also very good. Okay. We'll see if we ever get the opportunity to level you up, though. Don't think we have any more rookies. We do not. Alright. How much longer? Up to two days. Let's get more intel. Five days, 20 hours, recover items, start lib. Uh, very light 25. We can't right now. We really can't. I should probably take people off of intel uh, and get us some more supplies. Get some haven advisors in there as well. That's a lot of intel. It really doesn't give us intel itself very quickly. Um, it's more just finding missions. Okay. Oh, what's this? High alert has expired. Resistance informant has expired. It's all red and scary looking, but it's actually good things. Mission Brief, Sabotage Monument again. Oh, it's infiltrated. This is that mission. Uh, must launch or abort. Extremely light. Well, I think we're launching. And this is the one where we've... I think this is the one that I meant to equip with Skulljack and forgot. But it'll be a good mission for promotions in any case. Let's 
time the aliens and the rest of the Advent administration learn that we can hit them where it hurts. So we're moving into the city center to strike a high-profile target. Deploy and approach the designated position. Neutralize any hostile contacts and secure the site. Menace one five. We have a fix on the target. Move to place the X four. Oh, I see a muton, and I think I saw a spectra. My disappointment is immeasurable, and my day is ruined. Uh, where are we gonna? Who are we gonna send forward first to have a peek? Perfect. Okay. I am the sky. Got eyes on a hostile squad. And we almost get spotted by a drone immediately with our shinobi. Uh, let's move some people up. I move. Move him. So we can see that drone now, right? Yes, fantastic. Let's put I am the sky up here. And we definitely want to get... We're definitely going to want to get Morpheus in that direction as well. We'll do. Oh, wait. There's a big old building in our way. Uh, I should have looked before I leapt. I think I would rather have Morpheus... Well, I was going to say up here, but there's a building somewhat in the way over this way as well. So I think we want to all get on this huge roof before we start fighting. Spectres are the worst addition from War of the Chosen. They really are. It's their insta-KO that's the problem. It's honestly everything they do that's the problem. You, the only way to deal with a spectre is to not give it a single action. Period. On the move. Oh. Apparently I don't have armor... ...of any kind... ...on my Psyop. Welp, we'd better be careful with him. Uh, let's maybe get Crimson over there, that should be fine. I'll go quickly. Move him, scooch up over that. here, and noised over Got here. It. Insta KO and lightning reflexes, yeah. Lightning Reflexes isn't as bad as what it used to be, but it's still one of the most BS abilities. I'm on the move. I've got a clip somewhere. A Spectre walks through Overwatch like it's a joke. Clones of one of my clones one of my soldiers. I try to shoot at the clone, miss something like ninety five percent. The clone shoots back because of an ability. Repeater triggers. One shot. First turn of a. Chosen Stronghold. Oh boy. Oh, we can't get down there? Maybe? I want to go all the... Oh god, why? <laughs> I want to go exactly here. I guess I'll have to go for that ladder, but it's a bit more sketchy with that drone around. Let's just say rage ensued. I would imagine so. The civvy is blocking this door as well. Why are you like this? Um, let's just blue move over here. May as well. And I want to be a bit careful with our best stealth. On the move. Crimson. Why can't I pan? Maybe over here would probably so be pretty decided. good actually. Good mobility on Crimson. Rather important for melee. Uh, 
Oh, I can't quite... We're one tile off being able to go in here. He is probably fine for now. And Morpheus... Uh, I think the choice is fairly obvious, almost, but then we can't get down very easily. I would park you here, but the drone could come over. How about here? Or maybe even over this way? That might work. Uh, Boovim is stuck. I didn't notice that Boovim is stuck. There's a small chance that the drone just comes exactly over here. I stand ready. But I don't think it will. It's facing to the right. They don't change direction very... You've... What? What? Do... What? Okay. Okay. They don't change direction very often. Um... It did, but it only moved like two tiles. I've never seen it do that. Um, I think we're gonna have to hack the drone. That's XCOM, baby. <laughs> yeah, I think we have to try hacking the drone, even though the hack on this guy isn't gonna be that high. Uh, 56. Oof, owie. What's this? Disguised signals override. That's not gonna help. Shut down 66%. What odds do we like better? 66% or this thing doesn't come over to where Buvim is? If we get seen by this drone, I can't get eyes over here except with our shinobi. Let's get eye in the sky on the roof. Does grappling hook... Oh yeah, I forgot Boovim has grappling hook actually. Oh, and there's a... That's unusual. There's a lone mech just standing on the corner here. Yeah, it's been a little while since I played. Um, it doesn't actually get us out, though. It might have done so last turn. Oh, actually... It does get us out. Because... Well... This, this alone doesn't reveal us. Weirdly enough. I think with the mod I have, I could slip through this way. Uh, that mod being... Uh, Advent don't have 7,000 eyes in every direction in their skull and see you when they're standing here when you scooch up to this cover. At an angle that's practically impossible. But I think in this case that would actually be a bit cheesy. I'm also not entirely sure it would work that way. But I think waiting here is a better chance than On my way. attempting the hack. I await their approach. And let's get Crimson. Can I get Crimson where the mech can't see? I can. As you order. Maybe Morpheus should just steady here in case there's more friends. There's a small chance of killing that mech outright. Unfortunately, we can't grapple this far. I wouldn't be able to get up there in one turn. I could move down here, steady weapon, and grapple up here if necessary. And or just if I want to move fast. I think I will do that. Let's get some eyes over this way to make sure... There's nothing that's going to sidle up. Confirmed. And 
then you can go over here. You can steady... Yep, you can indeed grapple. Lots of options now, that's good. Steady weapon. And that's the turn. Fantastic. Wait, what? What is this drone doing? Go home, drone. You are drunk. Uh, where did that mech go? I'm scared. I didn't see it move. I, I feel like I should have been able to see where it went. Oh, it's here. Okay. That's affirmative. Hostile targets in sight. All right, here's what I think we're dealing with. A pod here, a pod here, and this mech isn't actually alone. I don't think I've ever seen a mech alone. I think there's a pod here, and the mech is part of it. Um, and I thought I saw three here. Three, four, five, maybe six, seven, eight, nine... Um, I'm pretty sure we've seen every pot on the map, even if we haven't actually seen every enemy. We're still in danger of being spotted with Boovim, although it's not too likely. So I think we should move everyone up uh, to be safely on the roof, with I Am The Sky peeking over. Noised can actually use... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, crimson as cover, but if the mech goes over here, I don't think that's going to help. This should be fine. Double time. We should be able to see the mech now. So we know exactly where we can go. Um, I think I would like Crimson to be in a position to have the most possible melee options. Guide my hand. I'll wait here. And Ramirez, just come up here. Morpheus. Um, I don't really want you to waste your grapple just yet. Surprisingly, you can't see that drone. You could if it moved. I think I want to make sure you have cover against the mech if something weird happens. I think Darava had a situation where a soldier used himself as low cover, thus not revealing himself? What? Uh, what do we have here? Flamer? Trooper, big trooper, and uh, I think that's a tier 2 officer. Spectra, Muton over here, Mech is still being weird. Drone is also still being weird, but we can now get away from it. Finally. Alright, I think we'll get Boovim over here. And if these pods keep behaving the way they are behaving, I don't know where we're going to ambush from. But we do have unlimited time for this mission. Twenty-three percent to take control, not likely. Um, I think I would like to get Morpheus over here. Except, apparently he wouldn't have line of sight on those guys. After all that trouble. He does have line of sight on them from here, weirdly enough. Good copy. Moving on target. And probably over there as well. Uh, 
I am the sky. I probably want you... Well, I kind of want you scouting over this way, but at the same time, I want you in range for commands. So I'm not sure. We no longer need I Am The Sky specifically to peek over the edge like this. Nineties Paradigm, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Out. Let's have a look down here. And... We could maybe squeeze in here, but then it's possible I in the Sky will be stuck. So I think we'll not way. do that. Crimson... I think I'm hoping these, guy, these guys come back this way, actually. So that we can actually fight less than the entire map. All at once. Vin? Mars? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. I could try mind controlling someone, oh, right? As an opener. But it probably just... disorients them... and is not that spectacular, right? It is 2 a.m. indeed. We really don't have that good of a ambush at this rate. Moving to designated coordinates. Eyes on the prize. I think I want Carlos somewhere a little Rosier as well. Alright, I'll need to bring Boovum up before we ambush anyway. Oh damn, that would be... That would be a very attractive rocket target. If only we had rockets. Orders confirmed. Moving out. Menace 1-5, you're near the target position. I'm still yet to see what's attached to this mech as well. Where did he go? Why didn't we get to see him walk off? Uh, where's Boovim? Get up here before something weird happens. And I think... Over here... Would probably be by far the safest place to keep eyes on these guys. And potentially come in with a flesh. I need to remember the power of advanced teamwork. That could be very, very useful today. But for now, we wait. Probably steady weapon. We've got like a... Actually 0% chance to one-shot the Muton. Damn. Okay, that's a possibility I hadn't really thought of. If these guys go far enough away. Technically they are far enough away. Oh, we finally find out what we've got here. That's right, I forgot I saw a priest earlier. Okay. So... The only one with line of sight to anything that isn't on this roof? Including our sniper. Uh, is I Am The Sky. I don't think we're going to get a better opportunity than this, and also they might just find us next turn. 
We probably want to start with a grenade from Boovin. And from there, I don't know, we're not going to get our flank shot. We could whiplash the mech and probably maybe even kill it. Uh, Knoised doesn't have any hacky stuff. We've got soul fire as well, 6 to 9 damage. We could actually guaranteed kill that trooper. Risk of destroying and dropping them with grenade. Reducing shot access? It's not too likely. Uh, explosives in Long War most of the time are a lot weaker against terrain. You need, like, the sapper ability on grenadiers to reliably destroy floors and stuff like that. So yeah, I don't think as much as I'd like to potentially use grenade on something else uh, I think it's not going to get better than this. Do I want a reaction fire? I could use Knoised for a double reaction shot. That's probably a good idea. You're basically our only direct ordinary shooter. Do I want to aid protocol anyone? Probably not. And I wouldn't know until we see what they do. Affirmative covering now. Buvim would get two shots if I give him a flank shot, but I'd, then we'd lose the opportunity for the grenade. Yeah, I think this is fairly obvious. I could take a reaction shot with Morpheus, even though it's pretty short range. I don't know. Weapon range, negative 12, but we've got steady weapon. We've got scope, but no re uh, no hair trigger, though. It's going to be a lot worse than it looks. And we can't grapple anywhere good. But what kind of shot is Morpheus going to get after they move? Probably kill the mech easily, actually. Alright. Well, let's go. Not that much damage. Oh, really? That's the one you needed to hit. Okay. Uh, Buvim could execute mech. Or probably waste his turn. Or he could give a f another action to Crimson. Uh, which definitely doesn't sound like a bad idea. Max roll would kill the priest or at least put it in stasis. Morpheus has not 100% on the mech. Actually he does, at point blank with a sniper rifle. Damn. Morpheus, you crazy. Uh, he has 100% to potentially kill Priest. I think we may go for that. So Bo uh, Boovim can execute Mech. Uh, Ramirez can Insanity Soul Fire. I think we'll probably do that. Soul Fire could kill the Priest. But then again, there's the... Why don't we try insanity on the priest? Are you unwell? Mind control resisted. Nothing happened. Okay. There's a small chance of killing the priest with soul fire. We can guarantee this one. Uh, crimson. Not quite a hundred percent to kill Trooper. Low chance to kill you. Okay, I think I will remove this variable from the equation. 
and then we're just figuring out how to go about this. And I probably will take this snipe. 6 to 11. There's a decent chance, especially with crit. Uh, spoiler from the animation. Okay, so he is uh, unkillable now, but on one health. I should probably soul fire this trooper and... Oh, I can't. I have no one left to reaction fire this guy. Uh, unless Crimson uses advanced teamwork, but then this guy's in cover. Yeah, no. Alright. Let's guarantee this. And we'll move Crimson up. I probably should have hit it with Crimson, because we would have gained, uh... Focus, actually. But we'll move right up next to this guy and use one for all. If he's going to attack someone, that's who he's going to attack. Uh, these two should be on alert now. I think they are. Yeah. What kind of damage will we have? 100% on Spectra, 10 to 14. That's a decent start. If I move back a little bit more and use Dedication, we could potentially one-shot the Spectra. But I don't want to move to the point where I can't hit him. And the cover options here aren't that great. And there's that group back there. We probably don't want to mess with them. Not today. Not right now, anyway. I mean, I wasn't going to do that this turn, regardless. Alright, they are just dancing around with no idea where we are. Stasis? Is that your whole turn, or is that one action? That's his whole turn. Good, good choice. Okay. I think I want Morpheus further back, probably, to potentially snipe. I'd like to get him way back here, but I don't want to miss my opportunity if we would have the shot next turn. But there's a chance he'd be spotted. I think I should be a little greedy here. Whoops. The grapple can wait if we're going to end up doing that. Boovim doesn't have a grenade anymore. I want Boovim closer if possible, but like... I could put him here for reaction shot. Not a very good character for a reaction fire, though. You know who is a little bit better, though? If we put Knoised here... I'm pretty sure they can't see us. And I'm pretty sure we'll spot them next turn. No problem, boss. Yep. And that should keep them from getting close enough to see Morpheus. Got it covered. I'd love to put Boovim somewhere where we could use the... Um, Understood. Grapple, but I don't think that's happening. I do want Boovim where he can do cheerleading for Crimson. Potentially. It is under my 
And that's pretty much the turn. Let's see if we can get behind them. I mean, we definitely can get behind them, but let's see if we can make something out of it. Oh, they ran the other way? Fascinating. What kind of snipe do we have? 100% on Spectra, up to 15 damage. 100% on Muton, much more likely to be 15 damage. But this... Oh, this is a tough choice. They're both really dangerous. The Spectre's terrifying. Centurion... How am I going to deal with the Centurion after the Snipe? Or the Spectre, for that matter. Uh, with a soul fire, perhaps? What if I put Morpheus on Overwatch? He'll probably snipe these guys, because they move first. That would be very bad. He's also not specced for Overwatch as much. I think we should probably shoot them this turn. Crimson won't be able to do anything, because we'll aggro those. I take it back, maybe we shouldn't do something this turn. I think we should try the Overwatch. Uh, also, we should have a evac up here. And I kind of want Ramirez to have two shots, but like the six health and no ablative is spooky. Alright, I guess this will do. I should probably move uh, I'm this guy so we can't quite see these guys. If they keep running that way, we won't get a shot at them with long launch. And that just leaves Ramirez, whom I think I will put here and hunker. Oh, we should probably take some Overwatch shots. It's only 64 aim, though. But as long as we ping these two, they're not going to get a free attack. You've got 20 dodge. Position confirmed. They probably won't pick you to aim at. To oh, wait, I'm thinking of defense. Lightning reflexes, I forgot about that BS. <sighs> Alright, can we... We can't actually insanity the Spectre. Can I ablative myself? I cannot. Okay, so we can guarantee six damage on Spectre. We need it. We need up to six more, at least three more. We've got a ninety-one percent. I think we should probably just hit the Spectre and then snipe, and probably get death from above. I think our Lone Wolf is not giving us plus 12, plus 12 as well. So we could probably move up a bit. Uh, where is it? 
Aim, height advantage, good ground, steady hands, advanced scope, depth perception, graze. Do we have no lone wolf? What? At least four tiles distant from an ally. Yeah, zero. Okay. So we should be able to boost that to 100% chance to hit. Um, the only trouble is I would have to be in low cover against these two. Unless... We're not going that far. We do not want to wake up that other squad. We can see him from here. Let's do that. Alright. Soul fire. The tissue melts away. Well, that's a start. And 100%. That's the important thing. And as long as we don't graze, we've got a guaranteed kill here. I think you see this. Fantastic. That just leaves the muton. I need to reload as well, so we can't steady weapon. Uh, potentially I could hollow target, but I don't really see that happening. I could focus fire muton to reduce his armor and give everyone increasingly good aim against him, but we don't really have that much going on. I could get a reaction shot from Crows, which will reduce his aim. I could also... buff someone's defense. Regardless, I think we're just reloading with Morpheus. Oh, I could put... Okay, if I knew exactly where these guys were, I could put I Am The Sky right next to the Muton. With combatives, he'll waste his turn trying to melee and get counter hit, but that's not really an option right now. Um, I don't think he can use a grenade on these two. I think I'd like to send Boovim on a flanking mission, where the Muton can't see him, and he'll be in heavy cover. Technically, Muton could flank him here. That's only if he know, knows exactly where he is. goes here, he's also not seen, and can't be flanked. I go quickly. We got a little spoil as to where these enemies are. Oh, we can also command Boovim from here as well. That might be good. And Crimson is in a really, really awkward spot. Who's going to get shot at by this Muton? Probably Croized, unless he moves first. I don't think we need aid protocol this turn. Probably. Oh, I know. I can, I can put Crimson down here. Not get spotted by these guys. And not get spotted by where they might have been if I didn't know exactly where they were. I could also vault this turn, but I don't see the point, especially since it gives an aim buff. Makes targets easy to hit. But yeah, we're going to get behind the light cover, use one for all. Gain a bunch of abl ablative armor. And the muton will probably just shoot at Crimson. Yeah. 
no one's likely to hit anything. Oof. Well, there goes one of our built-in ablative hit points. Um, I don't know where these guys are. I imagined they might not have moved. We can't rend because he'll counter hit with counter attack. We can use vault 4 to 7 damage and he becomes easier to hit. Uh, we probably don't have soul fire. We could try insanity. I think that's probably the way to go. Rolling. Find out what that does before we make a decision. If, if we mind control, uh, this mission takes a turn. Mist? Bruh. I could move up and double hit him with move him, but we're gonna spot the enemy. Uh, what about Morpheus? Only has an 84%. It's not the worst, but I think I would rather, like we did last turn, or, uh, soul fire plus high accuracy snipe. We've got Lone Wolf and uh, Steady Hands at this point as well. It's like plus 19. So no matter where he is, we should have 100% next turn. But we have to like suppress him or something for one more turn. Probably do that by just tanking again. Um, just to be a little super safe, I'm also going to put aid protocol now, PSYOP. And we're going to reaction fire. Move him. Should be able to move up a bit, but what's the point? I mean, I could take a poorly aimed shot at this guy, but... It's not like we can hit him. Even if we did, it would just kind of scratch him. We've set things up to kill him next turn already. And Morpheus... Steady weapon. Actually, move back here and steady weapon. No, I think you're safe enough where you are now considering where the enemy is. The other thing he might do is try to retreat and bring the other squad. Oh? Wait, how did you... What? What? There's no way he knew where he was. Ugh. He also attacked someone with the higher defense. I don't know what this AI is thinking anymore. This game man, indeed. Sheep Samer, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I'm fairly confident we can move Boovim up here, though. Morpheus doesn't have a shot. Uh, I just have to assume that AI is going to cheat every time. If I, The thing is, if I'd moved Boovim like here or here, that actually probably wouldn't have happened. Okay, we're fine. 4 to 8 twice. Uh, I can reduce his armor. And I can 
get another action gifted from uh, Crimson. And from uh, I Am The Sky, if it comes to that. I think we'll probably just use Boovim to kill this guy. Oh, one health? Hmm. Do I have a way to deal one damage? I mean, I've got soul fire, but I would have to come up here, weirdly enough. I do not want to leave Carlos exposed to the other squad. Yeah, I think I do have to spend... I, I think it'll be better to spend a command. Because we can't use two commands in one turn, we can use two advanced teamworks in one turn. And we are going to shoot because if we melee we get counted. Okay. Now we just... I'm very tempted to go for this. We are going to have heavy cover against them if they show up, but Boovim might get burned. Unfortunately, I can't move our scout up. Moving out. They're probably back here. I don't know. I'll make sure because noised has a better angle. I can handle that. Moving to Overwatch. And Crimson can probably stay here. Staying down. Morpheus on Overwatch. This is Firebrand. It's time to go. Alright, now we can move I Am The Sky up to have a look. Moving to position. There they are, right where I thought they'd be. I don't know if we would have got spotted if I was super greedy there. If... probably. Closing on target position now. Alright, we got three enemies, we know exactly where they are. I believe there's also a drone. We do have a heavy flamer to deal with, though. And I think that's an elite trooper. Morpheus can see only the officer, but could probably grapple. Surprisingly enough, could not grapple to hit any of them. We do have 100%. There's a small chance of killing the officer outright. Boovim wouldn't get a good angle this turn. Uh, we've already used I Am The Sky's actions. Crimson would actually not have gotten spotted, it looks like, last turn. Let's get Crimson up close. Crimson's actually invulnerable to fire as well. I'll wait here. I guess we'll bring Boovim up close as well. Order confirmed. Knoised is one tile from being spotted. Wow. Reload Overwatch. Ramirez uh, is surprisingly close to getting seen. If I go this way. How about... Over here? Moving out. And Morpheus... Overwatch. Overwatch. Here we go, straight through this... Uh, fortification. Nine damage, not bad. Six damage through the armor. 
Nice. This is going very well. Oh, and that's it, apparently. <laughs> Never mind. Alright, we can kill Purify guaranteed, but it might explode in our face. Uh, guess who's invulnerable against fire and explosion damage, though? Oh, and we might just kill this outright with Vault. Be wary of my mark. Crimson, if you please. Fantastic. Uh, Boovim, you know what? I am the sky. I am the sky has been watching and waiting this whole time. Can't actually kill this guy in one shot, though. Uh, Boovim, could you soften him up? You could. I think that'll be fine. Even if the drone showed up, it wouldn't be that bad. Fantastic. And then get some revenge. And a stop. And I am the sky, if you please. Uh oh. Um, okay, I am the sky has counter hit for melee. Uvim, I think, does not yet. Uh, he does have plus three def uh, plus three damage mitigation against melee, but can we kill this thing instead of allowing that to happen? Probably. I completely forgot about this um about this sit rep. It wouldn't have changed any of my decisions. I don't think though. And Kanoi's maybe over here. That drone should still be mucking about over this way somewhere. Ready to rock. Let's bring Morpheus over as well. Alright. Explosives. Oh, apparently that tells the enemies where we are. That works. That's not where I meant to move. I was trying to find the drone, actually. We see nothing. Uvim is out in the open. And Carlos isn't going to be able to do anything against a drone, I don't think. We see nothing. Um, we should take a peek. Do this? 96%. Yeah, we can. Whiplash for the win. Area is secure. We're not picking up any inbound contacts. Scanners are clear. Status confirmed. Squad Fantastic. Unfortunately, Boovim will be out for a week. Oh, this is where the animation is broken. Nope, we're good. announced an increase to this month's recruitment quotas. Citizens are encouraged to voluntarily visit their nearest recruitment center. Remember, 
Only together can we build a better tomorrow. Indeed. We get promotions. Fantastic. One more to chuck into the Scilab. Knoised is going to take medical protocol. I think that's our first person with medical protocol. <laughs> it's uh, It's been a minute. Elite autoloader, that's nice. Data pad. Uh, a couple of stocks don't really care. Um, if I had a million supplies, I could train two psyops at once. Honestly, I don't see that as being necessary for quite a long time. It doesn't... It takes so much longer for the psyops to level up so that we can train them than to actually train. Especially when we put double scientists in like this. Um don't really need to worry about it. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to take a short break there and throw up some words on stream real quick. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Uh, I'm surprised that came through. Let's see. Words on stream. It's going to take a minute to load, apparently. It's actually a lot slower than it usually is. Here we go. All right. I'll be back in a few minutes. We'll start words on stream in about 30 seconds. It's XCOM, everything takes time to load, indeed. Uh, grab a drink and a snack and all that. Back soon. Soul Ren, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And I'll see you shortly.
Okay. Let's continue, shall we? With Long War of the Chosen. We got... Avon. Thank you very much for the resub. Much appreciated. And for the seven months. Thank you so much. And welcome, welcome. Good to see you again. Pardon me catching my breath. Um, so we've got no supplies. Actually, I don't think it's just supplies. We need, we need Illyrium cores badly. Hmm. Do I actually buy them? I think we can buy like one. 31 hours until raid of robots. Oh, that's plus one mech. No problem. Thanks for all the good content. You're welcome. Thank you. Um, What's this? 17 hours remaining. We need that to be extremely light, I think. And we've also got a hacky hack in progress. Or being infiltrated, rather. We have a moderate amount of troops and equipment available. And... Alright, let's have a look at the, the black market. Avenger plotting new course. market what have we got? Oh, we can't even buy cores. Yuck. I should have got Vulture sooner. But yeah, I think we've just had incredibly poor luck with picking up cores as well. Advanced hacking? I can't really turn that down. It These are really hard to find. And we've got a new hacker or two in the works. Combat awareness. Do we have any of those? Or do we need any of those? PCS Combat Awareness. We don't have any. And I come to think of it, do have a character or two specking into Overwatch. Um, what can we sell? Data pad for 52. Damn. How much intel do we have? 111. Things have turned around on that front. Do we sell a data pad? I think we... Mm, we're going to get hundreds of supplies soon. I think the answer is no. What we desperately need right now is lyrium and cores. And the only way to get cores is literally by luck. Uh, I don't know if I've ever been able to buy them. Aka Illogical, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Depends. Difficulty, intel is the rarest resource as the campaign progresses. Uh, difficulty is... Commander, is it? The second highest. Not... not legendary. Yeah, I don't think supplies are as big of a deal. It, it's getting to be alloys and Illyrium that's more of a problem. I mean, that'll change again. But I don't want to be bottlenecked on intel again either. Not being able to boost missions was not cool. Setting course for the Arctic. All right, let's scan, and here it is. Extremely light. Must launch. We need to destroy a transmitter, 
Well, it says sabotage. It could be the other version of that mission. We got five people. Larius, Sloder, Red, uh, Rorosaur, Glacier Wolf, and Damsel. Pretty much a team, except for Damsel, who's a grenadier who doesn't have to be super leveled up to be useful, reliably. High concentration of beast-like enemies. That could actually be kind of good. Uh, when we're only dealing with up to nine enemies, I don't think a berserker is going to help the opponents very much. We also can't have concealment. We've got Larius with two turns of stealth uh, on a cooldown. So we'll at least be able to move up in the beginning. During a recent scouting operation, our friends in the Resistance picked up readings from a massive psionic transmitter Advent just deployed in this area. As we understand it, destroying that transmitter while it's still connected to their network would cause catastrophic outages across the region. So that's exactly what we're going to do. I think this is the one where you start with only four turns. Um, but there's all these little things dotted around that if you destroy them, you get one more turn. I thought these things only happened in the sewers. They're on to us. Has constructed a psionic transmitter in this yep, area, tied that's directly it. into their primary network. Imagine trying to get Our here in four turns. Destroying it while it's still connected will severely damage their link oh. systems. Plant the explosives before they have a chance to pull the plug. I've also got ghost grenade. I think it reveals me oh, I can't use ghost grenade while I'm in shadow. Who would be a good candidate? Damsel? Yeah, I think Damsel should be our scout. Let's put Larius here. Could still be able to see Damsel, I think. It's kind of hard to see the little green diamond that tells us if that's the case, but yes. Oh, not quite. Maybe here? Shouldn't be too big of a ri oh god. Are near. Okay, that's just a drone, though. Can we kill drone and then use ghost grenade on damsel? Uh, probably. But are we going to get spotted by anything else? Let's take Rorosaur. He's got excellent aim and can shred armor. Terrible mobility. I don't really want to put him here in case we do get seen by something. Absolutely. Still got 98%. Might even one-shot it. Not quite. We just need to scratch it now. Glacier Wolf has bad aim. Damsel has pretty good aim, honestly. Uh, especially for a Sarge. Oh, for a Sergeant? 76? Eh, it's okay. Um, I think I'll risk going over here. We'll be able to be spotted by, by Larius. Position confirmed. All right, that's fine. Damsel, first kill for the campaign. Fantastic. And let's give you stealth. By throwing a grenade at you, violently. All right, let's put Sloder and Glacier Wolf over here so we don't get seen. And run Damsel forward as, probably as far as we can next turn. Oh, can't even get there. Uh, 
this is a small risk, but done. once I saw that red bar, I thought it was all over. We're oh, good, actually. Confirmed. Sure enough, we get seen by going over here. Larius can use Shadow, though. Um, and can pretty much go wherever he likes. Rorosaur is in no position to do anything this turn. Sloda. Um, almost has a good spot to move to. What have we got here? Officer, Grenadier, and Drone. Not exactly difficult to deal with, but we're just in an awkward position and having to rush forward. I think I'll have Larius go into Shadow, move up, and... What if I could get him on Overwatch and get him revealed so that his Overwatch triggers? It's a bit risky. He can even go next to a drone with Shadow. Shadow is broken. Okay, Rorosaur. Um... Maybe move up here. We do have some line of sight there. We'd probably spot them when they move. Maybe I shouldn't have put Larius on Shadow after all. Tired of waiting around. Affirmative, covering now. Copy that. Nice field. And I guess with Larius we'll I'll be try swift. and get further up. As for Rorosaur. Stepping off. Get up in the same cozy spot. Dig it in. Do we see them? There we go. Get it together. Well, I wasn't really expecting Glacier Wolf to hit. It's unfortunate that our ranger didn't. Apparently the drone doesn't know where we are. Um, this is actually pretty awkward. Maybe I'll even use a rocket for this. If I had angle. I have angle on the officer only. Can't really move up to flame because Rorosaur is slow and holding a rifle. I could use demolition to destroy cover. I could use damsel's incendiary grenade. I will most likely do that. However, I could gas them both. That wouldn't crowd control either of them, but it would put both of them on a pretty short timer to survive. Alternatively, or not, not necessarily alternatively, I could get a flank shot with uh, Sloter, but he'd be in low cover. How much damage are we talking? 6 to 11 with Hail of Bullets. Decent chance of killing the Grenadier outright. I could also toss smoke before I do it if I wanted to. What if I flame one and suppress the other? How much damage is this? Maximum 12 with a crit. Not likely to kill this guy in one. Officer has a lot of hit points. 
I'd really like to set him on fire. And then maybe... Oh, I know. Take this. Step one, set officer on fire. Fantastic. That did a lot of damage directly as well. He's probably already dead. Oh! Oh no! Oh no! I forgot Damsel had stealth. Well, we probably needed that to deal with this anyway. I can't believe I forgot that. I, that's the first time I've used Ghost Grenade, or at least this campaign anyway. I think I've used it like twice ever. Um... At least Rorosaur will have something to do shooting this drone. to start. Okay, so what I want to do is hail of bullets Solid on up. the grenadier. Oh, wow. I'd forgotten that it could have killed him. Here but with the flank and with executioner, we've probably got a pretty high probability here. 100% in fact. And I could have Larius kill the drone. Actually, I could have Larius kill the drone in a way that doesn't give up stealth. But we're going to lose it next turn anyway. But I kind of want to have a peek up here. But I'm not going to be able to do much with said peek. So... Probably just kill the drone. Oh. Oops. Alright, buy us one more turn then. It's fine as long as the drone doesn't... Stone? Stone? Stone. Technically true. Incoming fire. Okay. Um I really need to find more of those little things to shoot. I don't think I'm gonna be able to delay moving forward here. Damsel should be able to move to here and maybe grenade something. Uh, I don't love this, but... I do have... I can give an extra action between Larius and Rorosaur. Maybe have Slow to finish off the drain. Eleven damage. You sure that was enough? Alright, let's risk seeing something. Apparently what we see is... just one more of these things. I kind of want to overwatch Larius, though. We can kill it next turn. Let's run Glacier Wolf up here. Maybe we see something. There's one of those things. That helps a lot, actually. And one more. We don't see any enemies. Unfortunately... Okay, I can't see an indicator that I could get line of sight to this, but if I look at the target preview in the middle, it actually does show whether I would be able to see these things. Let's grab the loot as well. Advanced expanded mag. Oh, we see two of them. That one's going to be harder to get to for someone else. Nice. And Rorosaur probably... 
probably run up here. Absolutely overkilled that officer with one grenade. We're not actually that far from the objective. I kind of want this as well. Moving out. Got the good. And we'll pop this thing. We got PCSI. That's not nothing, I guess. Glacier Wolf. Uh, unfortunately... I can't reload manually when I've got the auto loaders. I would kind of have to waste. Hmm. I kind of have to waste a reload. Then again, why don't I just reload after he shoots? Let's get Rorosaur right. up here. Oh, I see two faceless. Well, that's not very scary. Um, how do I want to do this? Sloder. I might see the faceless with this, but I think that would be okay. Oh, there's also something up there with one armor. Okay. Larius. I'd love for you to have triple reaction fire next turn, but that's not looking feasible. Can we just... Why can't I put you there? What? What? What, what are you, afraid of bus stops? Um... Okay. I guess we'll just not do that this time. Uh, I think we've got enough spare time Overwatch. that it's a bit better to go on Overwatch right now, especially considering these guys might run Overwatch forward. Good to go. Come Come get them. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's a... Uh... It's a chrysalid. Maybe a These chrysalids seem a little smaller than I remember. Then again, it was never really their size we had to worry about. No, it is not. That is by far priority one. I didn't get through to the meat. No, that was a good start. Okay, that was a very good start. Hilarious. You absolute legend. That is not where I was expecting. Okay. 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 Why can't I save? What the hell? Um, hello? Okay, I don't know what just happened. I mean, I've seen this bug before, but I don't know what happened behind the white doom. Looks like we're now auto-saving as normal, so I don't know what was up with that earlier. Usually just save and reload fixes this. Fantastic. So what are we dealing with now? Um, did we get hit? We did. We took two damage on Glacier Wolf. And apparently that's all. Alright. 
So we got a big bad mech over here on Overwatch. Um, we've mostly decimated this melee squad. And we've also got a stun lancer or a heavy lancer to deal with over here. Am I actually flanked by this guy? I am. Okay. What's the best way to go about this? Damsel is probably close enough Confirmed. to grenade the chrysalid. More than close enough. We can probably gas these two. It's probably enough to kill the faceless. Get ready for a surprise. And it'll slow down and make the chrysalid less accurate as well. Yep, the faceless is as good as dead. Aurorasaur has a 100% on faceless, but there's no point. Because it's already going to die. I'm pretty sure the poison kicks in before the regen. 91% but more like 60% actually when you take greys into account uh to wipe out chrysalid who apparently is not poisoned oh immune to poison well there's your problem uh he's down to one health how much mobility does he have I think he has to blue move to hit us. I could be wrong. I definitely don't want to risk it. What am I going to do about this guy? Larius can ping him. It's probably fine for now. We're not going to be able to kill him this turn, no matter what. I guess Rorosaur could have rocketed, but the range is pretty sketchy. Slowder can 97% chrysalid. I think we'll have him do that. And reaction fire for when the heavy lancer inevitably runs in. Alright, I think I'll have Glacier fuck himself over here. Roger that. Um, and actually Fantastic. That's a confirmed visual on the transmitter. Plant the X4 charges before they can cut it off. Hitting the escape network. during enemy turn disables autosaves? Really? That's weird. Uh, we've only got a 70% to hit this guy. I think I would rather Hail of Bullets. Oh, that's three more turns. Never mind. I thought it was just ammo. Um, I'll probably suppress him. But not before Larius takes a shot. It's actually pretty effective. Is I should probably shoot one of these with Aurorasaur. Should have plenty of time now. So we have a 70% less than that. More like 50% to kill the mech outright. Uh, it's a longbow, so it's almost definitely going to use uh, its explosives. We do have formidable on Glacier Wolf, so if it aims, if it aims those here, then it might deal practically no damage. We'll also suppress and combatives. Uh, if the Stun Lancer goes for Glacier, no who's by far the closest, 
that should cancel his turn. Baseless is still poisoned. He actually did regen first. Pretty weak reinforcements. And they're bunching up. Yes, I did. Oh. Oh, he didn't try to move. I'm all right. Nice. And just as planned, counter hit. Beautiful. Glacier Wolf tanking like a pro. I've actually got 100% to knife this guy, it looks like. Give me time to reload. Pretty damn good chance to kill him. Uh, Rorosaur can rocket these guys. Might be able to flame him, but probably not. That guy looks like... Wait, do they not know we're here? They do know we're here, but they look like they're... standing at ease. That's weird. Sloder doesn't have a shot unless he reloads or moves. Um, I could probably leave Glacier Wolf right here and tank the Heavy Lancer. I've only got a 70% to hit this, though. Alright, let's try the rocket first. Actually, Damsel has... Oh. Damsel might be able to set both of them on fire. I think that's the play. Let's move up a little bit. Actually, let's maybe not. Throwing grenade. Double flame, let's go. Actually, it might just kill the trooper outright. And Guardian is burning. Beautiful. Um, I can get a flank on this guy. Well, first I want to know if the mech is dead. Oof. Couldn't get through the armor. That is unfortunate. Hmm. I think we poke this guy and shoot the mech. Seventy percent. Nicely done, Glacier Wolf. And that just leaves the Stun Lancer, who will probably just get counterattacked here anyway. But what I could do... Well, for one thing, I could take a shot with Rorosaur. Rorosaur's got good aim. 82. Unfortunate. Alternatively, we could use Sloder. And hit him at point blank. Fantastic. How many is that now? Menace one five, they're about to disconnect the transmitter. This is our last chance. I thought we had more time than this. Well, we can pop more of these little thingies anyway. How many enemies have we killed? I should have been keeping count. Uh one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, but that includes in reinforcements. I think th I think there's only like a drone that we could possibly still run into. Let's move... I think we'll move Larius all the way up with Shadow. To try and find any others that we might run into. Looks like we're fine. Rorosaur, break one of these. Slow to... Probably move up here and reload. Glacier Wolf. Can't 
quite run all the way up to this. What about damsel? Not quite. All right. Probably put damsel here. Might get set on fire. Double time. Uh oh. Oh, it's just a civilian. Okay, we're fine. Moving to designated position. Oh, we should definitely be throwing evac as well. Get an evac in here. Probably should have done that a couple of turns ago. There we go. And I'm guessing there's no enemies on the map because... The game didn't spend a single frame thinking about them. The X4 charges are active, but the aliens are still working to isolate the transmitter. Eliminate any remaining hostiles before they cut it off. Uh huh. All right, Larius, park yourself oh, over here. To obey. Overwatch. I don't think there's anything to fight, but let's be extra careful. On Overwatch. On my way. On Overwatch. Back in position. There are more coming. We can no longer hide. Give me a minute. Let them pass. Probably could have finished Absolutely. it now, but. Uh... Let's Didn't pay attention to tossing flares. Solid copy. Come get some. I'm on enemy position. One more wave of reinforcements. I think I saw a priest. That could be a nuisance. Probably not with this many people against him. Oh, they're behind us now. No, they're not. And he's down. X ray down. Probably a flash wound. Everyone missing or grazing this guy? Oh, that's uh, at least a tier 2 trooper. Oh, wow. We got a couple of big ones. Alright, Rorosaur, if you please. Set this gentleman on fire. That's not on fire. Larius. Uh, that should be guaranteed. Or like 98% with graves. And then... Glacier Wolf. Uh, Glacier Wolf actually has Hail of Bullets back. Let's do it. Ah uh, yes, Hail of Bullets, this thing. Perfect. There we go. X-ray neutralized. Ready to go. Holding. And evac. This is Firebrand. It's time to go. I understand. Why can't I move Rosso? Let's move already. Not a problem. How about some parting shots? Moving to position. Oh, there's a mech as well. That wasn't animated. Gifts. Boom. Going hot. 
That wasn't very good. That's not who I meant to shoot. Would be disappointed. Yes, I, I too am disappointed. Target still standing. What? How are you not able to see? Oh, the peak out. I see. That's pretty weird. All right, let's get out of here. My battle is over. Come operatives are secure. Firebrand is returning to base. That transmitter is history. Good work, Commander. Yes, it is. All Advent Gene Therapy Clinics will be closed tomorrow for equipment upgrades. Initial reports that the suspension of services were the result of dissident activity have been dismissed as radical propaganda. Can we get any promotions? We do not. We got a core though, that's something. That brings our total up to two, I believe. Uh, and we prevented that dark event. And we get a grenade of some kind. And an ammo of some kind. Avenger plotting new course. Let me just check on things first. We got hacky hack in a day eight hours. And I think that's pretty much everything right now. Have I put people in havens? Yes. 11 hours until the raid is done. Make it two. What do we have here? Nine days, six hours, counters hidden event. We're gonna have to do that. I think I'd like to wait the one hour until I suppose this is works, finished, we so we find out there. if it's an ambush. And Central's going to yell at me if a single millisecond is wasted before we queue up another covert action. What should I do, though? Probably the ability points. Definitely the ability points. I want the ability points and I want a mission with three people so that the, um, when we get ambushed, we can actually deal with it better. Maybe Hilarious. Wait, uh, I kind of need to have a look at this mission. I'm going to get yelled at by Central. It's fine. It's fine. Undying Loyalty. Okay, so we do get Commander, Concealment. Make use of the ring yes, Central. Yes. On a covert action with the I know. Resistance. I know. Okay, um, Larius, I think. Maybe Crimson as well. And... Yatuwatu? Seems good. Let's double check they're all geared up. Pretty sure they are. And then we need to immediately queue this one up. Setting course for Sector 2, Australia. Commander, we'll need to have one of our troops equip the skull okay. jack for use in the field if we're going to make any progress towards our current objective. 
Who should I send? Probably the A team, honestly. Probably I am the sky. Who's our best sword shinobi right now? That we've got available. I think we've got a, a reaper, but they might be wounded or something. Uh, Midden. Midden is our reaper. Okay. I think we'll send I Am The Sky. Where is I Am The Sky? What? Am I blind? Mannequin. Oh, don't tell me. You're right here. It, yeah. Okay. I am the sky. There we go. Hunt Chosen, how are you looking for three MSGT? MSGT? Oh, three Master Sergeants. Yeah, we still don't have th uh, any Master Sergeants, actually. The last Find Chosen mission requires at least three. Yeah, that's why I haven't started with the other two. Rorosaur. Uh, Glacier Wolf, perhaps? Definitely Sloder. We've got nine days, so we can pretty much take as many people as we like. Um, don't really need a suppressor. How about an autoloader? And probably noised, I guess. And because we really don't want to fail this one, I think we'll take one more. Um, how about damsel again? This seems fine. I probably don't need the... what is it? Plus... it's probably plus three health now. Yeah. Well, Rorosaur didn't really have any other weaknesses except mobility. And I don't have any mobility to give right now. Very light if I take six people. Oof, owie. In that case, it'll be probably better if I take five. More or less the same squad as last time. What kind of PCS should we give Damsel? Defense, perception... You've already got pretty good aim, kind of. What if we went, like, chain shot? You don't have that much mobility, though. Hmm. percent chance to stun from a flashbang. I don't like that randomness. Ever vigilant? Return fire? It's kind of expensive though. Nah, I don't think I'm giving you plus eight aim. Maybe just defense or something. Oh, you've got negative dodge. 
Yeah, I think... I mean, I could give you agility if we had any. How about we just give you defense so you don't get aimed at? Will is very low. Will doesn't do anything most of the time. Discount Engineer, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. How's your stream today? Herbal Space Program, nice, nice. What'd you get up to? I mean, in lieu of doing anything else, uh, I think we'll just give Damsel some defense. How's you? Not too bad. Was good. Fantastic. All is for tired and mind spin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we can mostly avoid that. Was, uh, moving some refueling platforms around? Oh, like on asteroids? Okay, so we're taking these five, I think. Destroy relay again. We don't need a hacky hack, technically. Maybe it's about time I gave Sloda low profile. Uh, I don't think it's worth 10 shared AP. Alright, this will do. Alright, in we go. And... Recruited to West Asia was... Li Mingwu. Yep, on the supply. Fantastic. Alright, what's that other mission? 87%. Hacky hack. 16 hours to go. Okay. Let's do some scanning. Uh, I think I'll gain some intel. Setting course for the Arctic territories. Vanilla, uh, uh, vanilla XCOM or with mods, it's Long War of the Chosen. The and a few mods on top of that. On Basically quality of life stuff. Oh, I forgot about this thing. I need, Avenger, I need that grenade course. and ammo. Gimme, gimme. All right, mission is ready to go, extremely light. Do we want to over-infiltrate for, like, evac time? Probably not. Uh, savage, beast-like enemies. That's not really going to affect much. That's not going to affect my decision here, in any case. All right, let's -a go. And what do we got? What is it doing? There we go. Uh, I guess for the last two seconds we see this loading screen. That's kind of weird. Outskirts, hacky hack. Uh, considering that the hack is inside that building, if that is the case, we're probably going to have line of sight to it from a lot of places. This is Avenger. The access point we're after is just ahead. Move to secure the area. Expect hostile resistance. We got a dead train yard. Wow, that is very accessible. Pity this isn't a, sh a sneak mission. Everyone's got concealment. 
Um, let's have a peek. Does Midden have a good sword? Does not. Let's have a peek over here with Zellius. And park over here. With Ever Vigilant. That's really the only straight up shooter that we've got this time. Let's put Midden over here. I don't really want to try going through the train. Everyone's trying to tell me what to do. Sigma can probably just park here. Double time. And Stardust. Why does Stardust not have ablative armor? Oh no. I'm gonna have to be a bit careful there. Okay. We do have grapple, we do have dodge. Okay. Probably get Midden to have a peek over this way. Surprisingly, we see nothing. Zetius, could you please... Is that light cover? I think we'll be able to see this way if we go over here. Fantastic. Freeman, okay, that's a very focus. cozy spot. Don't die. Don't You're die. also not carrying ablative armor, but that's because I want you carrying more grenades. Sigma Bean... I don't know where to put you. I would like to put you here. Should I move Midden up? And somewhat risk our... our one uh, phantom stealth. Understood. Moving out. It's not a very big risk at this spot, I think. Oh! Okay. I think we'll probably maybe try hacking that mech. Good to go. And Stardust... Doesn't have anywhere to get height advantage and also cover. So I think... I think we'll use the grappling hook to potentially get a snipe. Confirmed. Stay out of harm's way. Got to remember also that we've only got seven turns to do the hack. Maybe avoid fighting these guys for now. Don't have to go that far for it either. Oh. Uh, I can't quite hack from, like, right here. Ragamuffin, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, yeah, it's almost a really, really good spot. We can probably hack it from, like, here, though. Let's have a peek over this way. How about we get Zedius to Ever Vigilant over here? Seems good. And... Probably from here is where we're gonna hack. But I don't know where to park Sigma Bean until then. Maybe here? It's a little sketchy. Uh, I think I'd like Stardust to be able to grapple onto... Maybe not even grapple. There could be a drone or something here. Moving. But yeah, grappling up to this. Oh, that's excellent. That's probably going to be the best and safest sniping perch. Let's have a look Maybe over this way. I'm good at acting like I know where the hell I'm going. And... Uh, I 
guess I'll put Sigma here. Midden, I want you to be able to look back this way in case those guys... Oh. Oh. Triple chrysalid in the objective room. It's a little bit uncomfortable. Uh, I'll probably leave him in here for now. Didn't really animate it properly, but it looks like they came over here. We've also got line of sight on the office. Oh, elite officer. Nasty. I mean, he'll die in one hit to the Skulljack regardless. Okay. Sigma beam? Can indeed hack the objective from here. Let's get a careful line of sight Orders confirmed. On the over this way. Got enemy movement here. Oh. Well, I believe we know where the entire map is now. Three here, three here, and three here. I think that's it. That's the edge of the map as well. I was hoping to do this objective before the Skulljack. Hmm, we got a little fort up here. That could be handy. Where do we climb up? Back here. Um, let's yeah, I'm just gonna have a look over this like way. Own the damn place. We've only got five turns left. Ten four. I think we avoid waking these guys up. For now. Where do I want Zedius to park this turn? Not sure. Sigma Bean may be here. Depends on where these guys want to go. Probably that way. Probably that way. I could give some extra grenades this turn if I want to. Don't really see the need. Freeman's already carrying... Uh, what? Pro incendiary grenade? Launch incendiary grenade. Okay then. Two, four, five. I want Zedius closer to this ladder. And Sigma Beam, Location how about confirmed. here? We don't have to try and get ready for the hack right now. Midden, probably back this way. And that's the turn. They did indeed go pretty much where we expected. These guys are coming closer. It's not what I want to see right now. Sigma Beam could hack from here. It's actually really good. I don't think we're going to get a hack without having line of sight to the enemy. Orders confirmed. On the move. Eyes on the target. Especially not this turn. We've still got four turns. The important thing is getting a good ambush on these guys. Let's get Zedius uh, probably over here. On the move. Freeman. Focus. Stardust. Oh, that's a good spot. Will do. Sigma Bean really doesn't have to be parked right where you can see the workstation. 
can see it from back here as well. Okay, that's definitely a lot more comfortable versus the chrysalids. And we'll move Midden back. I want Midden to be able to see if these guys come closer, but also potentially be able to join this fight. It's probably asking a bit much. Maybe... Maybe I should just park mid and where we can watch where they go instead. Try not to get caught. That'll do. Moving to position. Covering now. All right, where do you go? Chrysalids are coming back. They're all coming closer. That's not what I want to see. Three turns left. I could grenade these guys right now. I could set two of them on fire, potentially. Or I could... Wait, could I burn all of these? I think I could. That wouldn't stop them from melee attacking or anything, but... The damage would be pretty good. Stardust... Put 100% almost anything. Uh, we want a reaction fire from Stardust though, I think. Where is Zetius going to go? I really can't wait for the perfect ambush though. Is the thing. I don't like where this is going. What if I wait potentially one or two more turns? Then Sigma Bean's going to have to be... I guess we could hack and then move back if we have to. Trouble is, this lot are probably going to keep going the way they're going. But they might not have line of sight to us if they do. I think we should try one more turn. It's not that good of an ambush this turn anyway. They're actually... out of sight. We actually can't see any of them right now. Alright, let's hack. It's gonna wake them up, but we kinda need to anyway. Any XCOM 3 soon? Uh, not to my knowledge. Small case of intel. Yes, please. Small case. NLKR. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Acquisition of the advent files. Eliminate any remaining hostiles in the area. We're gonna toss evac here, I think. This is firebrand. We're gonna reaction fire. Hold tight. Maybe move Sigma Bean back. Where would I move Sigma Bean though? I'm a little scared we're going to get spotted if we move like even right here. 
Is Marvel Midnight's to revive me curiosity about studio? What? Uh, Zedius could probably move closer, I think. In fact, these two could swap. Can do. Let's move already. On Overwatch. I'm watching. And Sigma so being Overwatch. Okay. I think that's the turn. If we're very lucky, only one enemy squad will see us this turn. Pity about the shooting order there. That crit would have killed it in one. Good start, though. Alright, we should have 100%. 6 to 11. Uh, not likely to kill. 85% from Zedius. I might have to waste a grenade on just one of these. Let's see what Zedius gets. They're both 85%. What should I go for? If it does hit and doesn't graze, 5 damage, 12 minus 5 is 7, almost guaranteed for Stardust. Uh, I think we'll go for the weaker one. Oof. Okay then. Stardust has a decent chance to one-shot this. Nope. Oh wow, that's bad. Barely registered. A hundred percent chance and you graze for four. Not impressed. I could flashbang them. And they shouldn't be able to reach us. When else am I gonna use a flashbang? And then we'll still have our two flames. And then... Combat Protocol doesn't really do anything. Let's just move back behind the heavy cover. Is it clear? Not that cover does anything about chrysalids, but there are other enemies to think about. Another miss Stop from Sigma. Uh, I could slicey dice, but... It's too early to waste Midden's stealth, I think. Overwatch. That's it? Okay. Even better than expected. It would actually be kind of better if he was right next to us but couldn't attack. I don't think that's a thing. Uh, Sigma Bean, could you please... I didn't know they could stand there. Um, 12 hit points is a lot to chew through here. Three to six damage. 99%. Good chance of a graze, though. I might have to pop Reaper at this rate. I can't even attack that one? Bruh. I can't sword this guy. Oh my goodness. I mean, if I Reaper, I can. There's a decent chance, but not that high that we get spotted doing this. I've actually got angle on both of these guys with Stardust, but it's only a 77%. I 
I could almost guarantee kill the chrysalid and then we have a 100% 3 to 5 with the pistol. That's probably the way to go, I think. Fantastic. Where was that shot last turn? Uh, Alright, 3 to 5 with the pistol. 5 damage, very good. And now we just need to... Preferably kill this thing outright. 91%. That's only two damage. Freeman. You are up. Even if we get poisoned, there's uh, the evac in two, so it shouldn't be as bad. That's not what I wanted to see. We've only got one option now. We're going to 65%? I don't think so. 2 to 4, knife chrysalid. If it fails, we hope that combatives will protect us. How many is that now? Well, we finally got it. Fantastic. I think now we move Midden into a better spot confirmed. On move. to see the other squads coming. a tiny bit risky, but I think it's fine. Oh, that's where they are. Alright, good to know. Um, at this rate, it might end up being a bit of a problem. Just the amount of time the mission will take if we're going to do the uh, codex. Hmm. I think I want Freeman closer and hidden as opposed to caring well, about hey, his Overwatch smart. shot. This is a great idea. Should probably move Midden up. Affirmative, moving out. Maybe even all the way over here. Zedius, take the corner cover, I'm on it. and Bean, All right, kind I'll of go. the same thing. And probably keep the free reload. Uh, I don't actually value your Overwatch shot here. But once we're dealing with the codex, she can empty your gun. This is Firebrand. It's time to go. Reinforcements imminent, and we can't see the enemy. Uh, we might just. We were planning to kill everything here, but we might just have to take out one squad and run. Unless the reinforcements include an officer, and I don't think that's a thing that can happen. Finally, come get some. Yeah, keep I'm on going. I'm reloading. Sort of. I'm going. Back on, on the line. watch. I'm on Standing it. back. Yeah, I think we just have to go now. They're, they're too far away. Can we get out this turn? Nope. Getting crazy now. Got it. Moving. On the move. Didn't know there was a ladder over there. Alright, I guess this will have to do. Got 
I am never gonna hear the end of it from Central. Tired of waiting around. Yeah, I think I get the idea. Don't worry oh, about come it. on. Uh, okay. I think we'll just do it this way. Just in time. I don't think we're alone out here. We're not alone out here. Alien reinforcements inbound. Okay, very carefully. Move What's to evac. There? And we're gone. Operatives are secure. Firebrand is returning to base. Well, it is a flawless victory. Pretty surprising we only had to fight three of them after like what it looked like a turn or two before that. That our peacekeepers will stop at nothing to prevent further attacks by criminal elements such as the one that occurred today. The elders have total faith in our ability to overcome any and all threats to our peace. An impressive performance, Commander. Our troop skills are improving with every deployment. Stardust has leveled up. Uh, where is it? Here we go. We got aggression, probably. Plus 5%. Uh, plus 5 crit chance for every enemy you can see up to a maximum of 30. Squad sight ranges do give bonus. As opposed to Deadeye. On a reaction shot specific sniper. I don't think I want to go with that. Give us more crits with our across the map reaction shots. Next is Hunter's Instincts and, of course, Alpha Mike uh, Foxtrot. We could also take Avenger, but, like, I don't think that works at squad sight range. It's much better on a snapshot sniper. It's also incredibly expensive. Okay. What's next then? Three days until supply drop, three days until upgraded Psy person, four days until combat preparedness. And we've got another point of interest. With supplies. Nice. We get Acid Grenade and Dragon Rounds. Damn. That's ahead of our tech level. Set enemies on fire just by hitting them. Quite often. And Acid Grenade is... Uh, I think it does damage over time, but it also shreds armor like crazy. Very, very nice. I think I'll give the dragon rounds to Larius. We scan. Haven sabotaged. Supply intel recruit reduced by 20%. That is not a lot. chosen are constantly hunting us to try and recapture you, Commander. Are spreading terror throughout the resistance as they go. Zero days, eight we'll hours, never gonna happen. Each one as they gain more information about our plans. Commander, the aliens are still moving forward on the Avatar. Project. Yes, Central, I know. Taking out that facility would deal a serious blow to their efforts. 95 supplies, not bad. And 10 hours until supply drop. We got one mission cooking. Two days, 20 hours until 100%. Counters dark event. I think we have to boost this one. So maybe we should just boost it now so we can see how far along it is. Oh, it actually doesn't expire for 
six days. No, I think we, uh, I think we just over-infiltrate this, unless there's some emergency. Alright, what are we doing? Scanning for intel? We actually have enough intel. We need to build a... whatchamacallit? Resistance comms. 150 supplies, so we need that supply drop. That is expensive. I don't suppose... Well, I guess we're going to find out in 24 hours. If we get a mission to add a contact, then I'll go for that, probably. Otherwise, we'll start... Uh, start building. Four days, 12 hours, smash and grab. I kind of want it. It's very light, though. How many people do we have spare? A few soldiers. We've got a few. Is anyone wounded right now? Vivin is still wounded four days. 26 hours on Jacobek. Oh, we can do a proofing ground. I think we're fine for shredder rounds. We've got enough people with shredder built in. Um, I wanted to do advanced scopes, but someone has our one advanced scope somewhere. We also kind of need the Illyrium cores. Maybe I shouldn't be spending on these right now. Research. Uh, I literally just need alloys for coil guns. I need more cores for powered armor. I think we should go for coil guns. Being able to delete the enemy before they delete us obviously helps a lot. 15 alloys. We're one short. So we'll probably just render some kind of enemy. Like a Viper Corpse. The moment this basic research is done. Got an urgent communication coming in for you now, Not good enough, you quote-unquote failed missions. How dare you. Situation, Commander. Our Gain a hundred aim. The last month have left many in the that is not a small number. Nothing short of a fast improvement will do. So basically the Warlock doesn't miss. It's a lot less scary than having that on the Hunter though. Not that those two are mutually exclusive. Hidden Event 5 Intel. I think we have enough Intel that it's worth knowing what this is. Major Breakthrough, yeah. If it, if it was, like, hard to decide whether to take a mission where we get the opportunity to stop this, and I saw Unknown Event, or I saw Major Breakthrough, uh, there's a bit of a difference there in the decision-making. Bonus hit point incoming. Return fire is temporary. Return fire has almost never done anything to me, though. Missed shots on officers and priests, they get a shot back. Avenger plotting new course. 610 supplies, yes please. 13 hours until... we see what kind of... uh... covert ops we've got available. Use training complete. Ramirez can take Solace, Soul Steel, or Fortress. Immediately extinguish mental impairments for a squad mate. That sounds pretty good. Uh, Soul Steel, again, I really don't like the reduction, the cooldown reduction. 
And if it does more damage, it's not telling us. I guess it does give the Psyop ablative hit points every time. Oh, one ablative hit point. whoop de do. Do we want to take Solace or Fortress? Hmm. Probably Solace. We're taking Psy for the utility and the guaranteed damage and stuff, not for tanking. We're trying to keep them out of harm's way. Alright, let's grab these supplies and ambush. Kind of expected that. We must recover and strike them. Your attempts at subterfuge have failed. This defeat will be a costly one. Commander. Okay. Ooh, the lost. lost activity in this area. Our forces All right, who are we taking on the defensive side? Going to be happy if we don't put the oh my good goodness. Use. We should have one of our soldiers equip it before they deploy. That's actually not the worst idea, but you're still annoying. Midden? How about you take a good sword this time? Uh, we still don't have it. Who's got the sword? I think they're on... I think it's I'm this guy. Sure, no problem. Okie dokie. Can we make a sword now? I think we can. We can. Where is it? Arc blade. We finally have our second arc blade. In before we have plasma swords unlocked in two weeks or something. Ah, oh, that's a beautiful sight. Our Reaper has an arc blade for the first time in the campaign. Let's also go with Stardust for reaction sniping. Uh, and you should probably have some some armor. Do we want to try Dragon Rounds? Plus one damage and can set enemies on fire. Or plus two pierce. Armor pierce. I kind of want to give you the Dragon Rounds. Oh, that applies to the pistol as well. Hell yeah. Maybe Sigma Bean in case there's robots. And... Glacier Wolf? Or Freeman. We don't really have a highly accurate shooter unless we take Zedius. Glacier Wolf has a guaranteed hit though, despite the low aim. I think we're gonna need more than one hit though, is the thing. Let's take Zedius. Kanoiz actually has shockingly good aim for a sergeant. Oh, I think Knoist has uh, medical protocol. Hell yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what we're going to go with. Or I could go for two specialists. One for hacking, one for shooting, and medical protocol. I think that might be the way to go. Knoised, Sigma Bean, and let's get a proper SMG for Midden just in case. Uh, I think the laser stun gun's fine with the plus five aim. Oh, and we should probably have the better med kit. There we go. Oh, 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 and a better gremlin. Gimme, gimme. 
Just for our hacker, I think. Actually, doesn't it give better... Okay, so 20 bonus hack. Does it also give better plus defense on aid protocol or anything, though? Well, that would be the only thing that matters here. What if it has bigger heals? You know what? I'm sure we're going to want to have more than one of these. Let's grab them both now. Gremlin Mark II. Uh, Gremlin Mark II. It's really hard to see the difference. I guess they have red eyes, that's mostly it. Okay. We got 16 AP for Midden. One more promotion, and we'll give you Infighter. Wait, I did give Midden the Skulljack, right? I'm pretty sure I did. I could have cancelled it and redone it, but I'm pretty sure I did. Twisted Death. Lovely. Ruins of Paris. You've got no time to waste. Break cover and move to the We do indeed have the Skulljack. Alright, let's see what's going on over here. Apparently we don't have line of sight to the enemy. Um okay. Hmm. That actually makes it a little tricky to decide what to do here. We've got something with 22 hit points. I'm not a fan of that. Looks like it's an officer, I think. As long as it's not a Spectra. Elite officer again, indeed. Don't tell me this is going to be the one officer on the map. And we can't Skulljack him. Okay. I might want to try and get our sniper up here, but it might be a bit perilous. Moving out. Let's get Midden to take a peek over here, perhaps? Oh. Oh, that's a lot of... Oh no. Environment suit? Maybe something that can't handle our atmosphere? Those emissions could be toxic. I advise caution, Commander. That that is a lot of armor. Four armor on both of these guys and they have a million hit points. We can't get coil guns too soon. I definitely don't want to activate them this turn. Uh, we've got Larius, Crimson, and Yatuwatu to kill these two guys. Assuming we do want to kill them. We can try to sneak past them. But it might make things worse. If we don't try to sneak past them, then our chances of skulljacking an officer this mission drop to zero, probably. Could probably go. Nope, oh, never mind. In short order. Oh, we see... what's this? Uh, good question. What is that? I think it's... some kind of trooper. It's a flamer. So we got two flamers and one of those 
big hulking crazy acid things and an elite officer. This mission is a bit spicy, to say the least. So it is decided. We'll do. All right, how are we gonna prepare ourselves over here? We've seen how many enemies? One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, I don't know what the limit is exactly for this mission, but that is most of the enemies. I think we should be safe to dash up here. Move, move, move. Moving out. And we'll stay out of sight for now. If we do go after the officer with the Skulljack, we're really going to be pressed for time, even if we execute everything very well. I definitely want line of sight on all of these guys. And then... See how close we can get. Stardust in particular. I would have been a lot better off if I'd stuck with the uh, armor piercing. We do have some squad site from here. It's probably pretty much impossible for them to get a visual angle on us. Elite Purifier, I thought so. Is it clear? Don't smashy smash. Especially when I didn't get a what visual indicator that that would happen. Come get some. Come get some. Steady. And probably hide over here. Now for the other side of the map. Uh, we can indeed keep moving past these guys and stay hidden. If I had Ever Vigilant as well as Rapid Reaction, that would be ridiculous. Uh, on Larius, but I could potentially shoot at all three of them. We do have piercing... no, we've got needle rounds. I think we'll bring Larius up here. No time to spare. Crimson, basically the same thing. Oh, there's at least two of them here. That's not what I want to see. As you direct. I guess it makes sense. Double time. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven enemies that we know of. Oh, is that also an officer? I hope so. Oh, I should probably be looking over here. There, there we go. We know where they went, at least. Uh, so now we have no vision. Um, that's not great. I think... I think I care more about seeing these guys than trying to see these two with Midden. And then Stardust. 
doesn't actually have line of sight on them directly from here. I think it would be a bit too greedy, too risky to put Stardust here this turn, though. We do get Squad Sight from here. That might be the way to go. Or I could even long watch this turn. The thing is, we don't have enough heavy firepower with this squad. Maybe if I'd gone like Rorosaur and an accurate gunner and or a ranger, we'd be good. But I really don't want to fight. At least until these guys come and help. Even then, it's not that great. How are we going to get them over there? Maybe I should go around the left so we can try and fight just these guys? Oh, Larius can't move. Brilliant. Lovely. <laughs> Normally he could squeeze out here diagonally, but apparently because of Crimson's low cover thing, that's not possible. On the move. Okay, Larius. Uh, I kind of want to try and get eyes on what might be an officer over there, but I don't really think we can. Two more turns until I can use Shadow again. I think we just keep heading this way. And yet again, forget about the bonus objective. That seems reasonable. Moving to position. Okay. I hope it's worth it. Oh, this is who I was trying to check line of sight with. I think we just move Gnosed over no problem, boss. and put Stardust here. Let's do this. A Lost Swarm is very close. That could actually really help us. Potentially. They're out of line of sight again. Okay. Um, midden. Squeeze through here, please. I kind of wish I'd brought a grenadier so I could make the lost appear. We do have a grenade on Larius. I could actually rend with Crimson. It's not going to do a whole lot of damage even if it hits. Maybe I should avoid fighting these guys, probably. Even with all seven of us. We do have Reaper on Midden and the upgraded sword. I could try overwatching with Stardust, but there's probably practically no chance that we're going to get actually get that reaction shot. Here I come. It's unfortunate that the like, ceiling of the world is so low that I can't jump up on these. Alright, 
Let's bring Knoised over here. And Sigma Bean. And if they see us, we at least get reaction shots and make them point out their backs at us over here. I could use Ghost Grenade, say, on Yatuwatu. That sounds like a great idea. Let's move over here first. Apparently that summons the Lost. Oh, great. Um... When they say grenade, they're not kidding, apparently. Well, it's on now. Uh, I don't like where Midden is. We could flesh. We could actually guaranteed kill Elite Trooper. And since we don't already have Whirlwind, we could use a Reaper to get away after that. Does this guy have a melee attack? I don't think so. If he did, we could maybe tempt him to use it. I might use Crimson the tank. I was going to drop Yatuwatu out here, but now I know there's a bunch of Lost down there, probably directly below us. They'll probably ruin the stealth right off the bat. Uh, I guess we can find out with Crimson. Crimson is fireproof. Fire, poison, acid, and explosive. Let's do it. See where the Lost are. Oh, they're all in the street over here. Okay. Superficial damage at best. But... We do have one for all. Let's use Reaper. Kill the Elite Trooper. Oh, maybe I should have tried to position to kill the Lost. I'd rather the Lost run at these guys, if possible. Can't actually reach them anyway. I could deal 7 to 11 damage here, but that would end my turn in a very precarious place indeed. Uh, Midden doesn't have... it isn't fireproof either. So, unfortunately, we're pretty much just going to use Reaper to act as Whirlwind. Uh, Yatuatu surprisingly can't get through here without getting revealed. Is there a universe where I want to burn Yatuatu's stealth this turn? Maybe? If I could stun this guy, or this guy, maybe. No. I think we just take the long way around. Probably end up using the stun on the big guy. And that just leaves Midden. Who I think I will put back here. Some of the Lost are going for the enemy. That's good. Ouchie. Well, it didn't get through the ablative, but now we're exposed. Fantastic, good job lost. 
What kind of snipe do we have? 100% on Elite Purifier, who has ablative hit points for some reason. What? Why does he have ablative hit points? It's not a graphical glitch, is it? 5 plus 4 is 9... 10, 11. No, those ablative hit points are real. What the hell? Not sure what I want to do with Larius. Crimson. Uh, I definitely want to hit something and then one for all again. We could rush in and stun the Andromedon. Eighty-four percent to deal some decent damage from here, but we'd lose our stealth and we'd be behind low cover. What's our stun chance? A hundred from here. Well, that's pretty good. Can we kill the Purifier this turn? Nine to thirteen, and behind heavy uh, uh, heavy cover. Let me snipe him. How much damage? 6 to 11. So I got 17 plus 4, 21 damage. 11 plus... Uh, 13 if we're really lucky. That would kill him. I could also combat protocol for like... Forward damage. What if we're unlucky? 6 plus 9 is 15. Uh, I've been counting it wrong. I added the health, armor, and ablative. But this 9 to 13 ignores the armor. So 9 damage minimum out of 17. That leaves 8, but with 4 armor, that's 12. Which is too much for one shot from here. This 4 damage also ignores the armor. So 13? Minimum? And then... 6, but with armor. 13... We need to do 4 damage, plus 4. That's quite likely between those 3. And that's not counting a shot from... Knoised. Who also has a bonus to hit against targets that are at full health. And we have a flank. And we have hide advantage. Okay. Let's start with that. 86%. That's uh, not great. Um, it just occurred to me again if we slicey dice. There's a chance the purifier explodes on us. So I don't really want to melee. That wasn't too bad, wasn't too great. I think, I don't know, combat protocol will do so much more to the robot. We could try hacking it though. I could airdrop. I should have tried this before if I was going to do it. If we give someone a grenade, we can guarantee damage and shred a bit. What's Larius going to do? I could obviously reaction fire and almost definitely kill these two. 
got to move back first. I would rather grenade... Hmm. I'd rather not have to deal with these lost. But I think I have to. The lost always go first, right? So if we go here and reaction fire, we should get one shot at these guys. I think. I don't really want to leave Crimson in the open. I guess it doesn't make a difference against this guy. Don't actually have line of sight on that guy. I have to vault the Andromedon on nothing. I think we just do it. And pray we can take the damage again. Only two damage, one for all. Maybe I could have run and hid. I don't think that would have worked. Um, I think I will just burn a combat protocol. And while I'm at it, I should airdrop someone. Maybe Alarius, because he gets... A single action grenade. And can throw them further, and they have wider radius. Okay. And I guess Midden is basically not doing anything this turn. Let's just get ourselves somewhere safe and hidden and at long range for a potential flesh. And as for Yatuatu... You know what, I think I will stun the Andromedon. 74%? It was 100% a moment ago. What the hell? Uh, whatever. We'll at least disorient it. Mm, no, we won't. Larius and rapid reaction for the win. I, I, I think that uh, lost arm just got twisted like confetti. Trooper sentry coming in. We still have one more reaction shot from Larius. Oh, they're right next to our first group. Well, that's not helpful. Once again, we tanked it. Didn't even lose any ablative hit points this time. One damage off killing this guy. Oh. What? Apparently fire immunity. Okay, it looks like Crimson can't be set on fire, but can be hurt by... the flamethrower. Not very much, to be fair. But still... Alright, Yatuatu, um, could you please... Why are your chances to hit so low when they were 100% back here? It's not even... Oh, don't tell me it's because it's in cover because of Crimson. No... Uh, we can kill this outright with flesh, uh, probably, and set ourselves on fire. That doesn't seem good. Hmm. A 
it does like to melee, maybe the combatives would have been the way to go. 100% on Andromedon, 6 to 11, plus 4 crit. Not the worst. Decent chance to kill it. Surprisingly doesn't have line of sight to this guy. Larius has an 89 to kill. Flamer also sees these two coming. That is an officer. Uh, our Skulljack is not looking so far-fetched now. One sec. Alright, um... We can kill the Sentinel outright, almost guaranteed, especially when you consider Bladestorm if it doesn't kill him the first time. I think we should probably do that. Am I going to lose line of sight on this guy? Let's remember where he is. Right in front of the truck on the right. We did indeed lose the line of sight on him. Sentinel down. Um, Knoised could potentially one-shot him. But it's a bit sketchy. Bean could help. It's probably fine. Let's put Knoised down here. I can handle that. See how much damage we get. 100%. 5 to 9 and crit. Fantastic. think I think we'll just zap this guy a loud explosion draws the lost swarm closer we'll slicey dice and we'll guaranteed snipe Six to eleven, and then we get the steady weapon. Like this, my dear. We all saw that thing go down. Now what the hell is it doing? And then unfortunately we don't have Well, let's see how much damage this thing can do. It doesn't tell us. Lovely. Um Got a 94, 6 to 11 with slug shot. That's probably fine. Alternatively, I can combat protocol. That's for 8 to 9. Oh, or we could try and hack it. Shut down 91% and then it takes damage from Trojan. I think it'll probably take 8 damage, same as if we combat protocol it. I want to find out. Okay, what is that? I thought it was something on my screen, but I can see the mouse covers it. Whatever. 86% shut down. Fantastic. We should have controlled it. Not really. I'm in. And it'll wake up next turn and just take damage. Meanwhile, we've got an officer running in. We want that juicy, juicy... Uh, Skulljack. Midden has it, I believe. Midden's way back here. So we need to bide our time just a little bit. Um, I think it'll be okay if we wait here in the cover... Let's just wait here, and Stay one down. for all. And with Larius, we'll reload Overwatch. 
Yatu Watu. I want you kind of close. We can stun next turn. If we stun the officer, or if we stun this uh, flamer, we can definitely buy some time that way. There's really only one hiding spot that kind of works here. Maybe we should just not try and get that close yet. I'm on it. Um, or maybe I should just slug shot this thing. And that way it's basically already dead. Oh, that's more damage than I was expecting. <laughs> Would serve our purposes nicely. Yes, he yes, would. Good job, Larius. Don't set yourself on fire with bullets. Larius is burning. Are you kidding me? Larius. That is not how weapons... That, that is not how guns work. I'm pretty sure. I'm not a gun nerd, but like... I'm reasonably sure, normally, if you shoot bullets into walls, they don't get, they don't often catch on fire, and they don't usually immediately catch you on fire. We can do something about it, though. Otherwise, I would be a little more upset. We do have one gremlin heal that we can use at range. So, Larius will not be burning this day. Uh, the Advanced Purifier, on the other hand, will be getting owned. Um, we can't guarantee... Oh, wait. Crit 100%. So this is actually 10 to 15. 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, we got him. And that's going to summon the Lost. Not what I wanted to hear. Not at this juncture. But one thing, I actually have to protect the officer from the lost. Uh, so that's not helpful. We need to get Midden way over here. Um, unfortunately, we don't have a grapple or anything. What's his line of sight like? Not through here. Okay, well... Let's move Larius first of all. I want to use Rapid Reaction, but he might kill the officer. We can zappy zap these two? That seems like a good start. One lost was killed, the other's seriously hurt, but the soul still burned. I could run and gun and stun the officer, but we don't have, um... Your arc thrower has a bonus to hit. We do have that. And we still missed that shot earlier. Oh, also, Larius is once again surrounded by Lost. Uh, I think I'll just put him over here. We'll heal him. Go heal him. Or just put the fire out anyway. There's a fairly rare bonus to specialists where aid protocol would stop people being on fire. Or poisoned, or whatever. That would be very useful here, but alas. Uh, and we need to get Midden as close as we can to the officer. No need to ask twice. This is turning into a very interesting mission. How much range do you have here? Not that much. Probably just move Knoised up. Or should I aid protocol someone? 
I don't think so. Whatever you say. And Sigma Beam. Um, I don't want to see the officer, but I also. Actually, if we flank the officer, he'll probably just move. I don't... I think with his red fog, he won't put himself over here, either. Okay, this is a little bit bold, but I think it's probably fine. Oh, and he'd have to go, like, all the way over here to get line of sight. Because there's a wall in the way. So the officer's probably gonna maybe even just double move. Wait, is he still not flanked? Oh, that's where he's... St oh. I thought this thing was like a 2x2 two two square. I'm not sure what kind of cover he has. Alright, let's get Yatu as, hmm, I was going to say as close as we can, but maybe that's not the best idea right now. Hang out. 93% on Lost, fantastic, target down. and that just leaves Crimson. You could probably hide over here. One down. I just hope the lost doesn't kill the officer. Oh no, not like this. No! <laughs> no! Advent officer, we hardly knew ye. Ah. He got bombed. <laughs> yeah, he did. Oh, man, what a waste. Let's grab the loot. Kill the reinforcements and get out. Oh, nice hit though. That simplifies things. Maybe the reinforcements will include an officer. I don't think I've ever seen reinforcements that include an officer, unfortunately. Uh, Midden can't quite get out this turn. So we'll park him like here. Noise, Reload, Overwatch, Stardust, Overwatch, Arius. Uh, go Shadow just so you can run further. Crimson, back this way. And Yatuatu, over here please. I guess I should have focused more on killing the lost. I've got eyes on an admin position. Well, that's not helpful. Missed? Really? Come on, focus. Can anyone hit a shot? There's still an elite officer wandering around somewhere, I believe, but it's going to take 600,000 years to find it. Wow. We get five charges of interference with the Mark II drone. What do we want an officer? When do we want him now? Uh, and just to confirm, none of these are officers. 
Alright, is there a universe where we just run? I think there might be. Because they'll typically double move if they don't know where we are. Which means they don't chase us as fast as we're running. I could maybe take a shot with Stardust. If I hit the Lancer, he'll be slowed down. Alternatively, I could chuck a knife with Larius because he's still going to be invisible. This is the part where we wish we had Crippling Strike. I could stun this guy with Yatu, but we'd still have line of sight over here. I don't think that's the way. I think we just run away. I don't want to fight this stuff, and it looks like go, we don't go, need go. to. Midden... Midden's blade is thirsty, on the other hand. But... I think we're going to have to keep it in our pants this time. Actually, does Midden have command? He does. So we could use that to keep Bean running. How far can Bean go? Right about here? Stardust, over here please, and Larius is invisible, we'll probably be fine. It's far, but I, can reach it. I think the invisibility ends this turn though. Why can we still see them? Shield bearer doing his thing. Lancer doesn't know where to go. Double moves. And mech. Uh, mech might do a long missile. Oh, we're us. good. Alright, I think everyone can get out. Yes. Off. Let's do that carefully so the... Cursor doesn't jump all over the place at the critical frame. Roger that. Double time. I can get there. I can cover it. And that's the mission. Just in time. I think we took one damage on Crimson. I don't know if that'll be a wound. Well, that was a surprisingly interesting mission. Citizens should not be alarmed. All weapon fire and wounds were simulated to better train Advent forces. Do we get recovery time? We didn't... Oh, we might. No upgrades... No promotions. We got an advanced scope. Nice. That's our second or third one the entire campaign. Another core. Good. Iron skin might be good. Two iron skins. That's about twice as much as you usually get in a whole campaign. I know there's a supply drop available. Thank you. Larius got a promotion. Fantastic. Alright. Larius. Oh. It's time for Banish. 
Fire at a target until you run out of ammo or it dies. Each shot has 15 aim less than the previous one. But we've, we've got an insane amount of aim to begin with. Very, very nice. We've also got 10 AP to spare right now. And none of this stuff is looking maybe cheap shot. It costs 13. We'll think about it. Uh, but yep, yeah, that is going to be it for today. <laughs> Larry is looking very, very pleased with himself. That is Larius, right? It's almost hard to tell. Uh, I'm going to save it there before we pick the next mission or anything. Uh, Strin, don't forget spec up. Take care, repetitive beats. Thanks for hanging out. And everyone else as well. Let's see who's streaming today. Uh, perhaps XCOM 2, even. XCOM 2. Thanks for the stream. Thanks for hanging out, Morpheus. And for all your excellent shots. Anyone doing Long War, I don't suppose? War of the Chosen... I'll stream till Santa. Legendary Iron Man Long War 2. And XCOM Baby Long War. Um... Let's have a look. I don't really see the quality. That seems fine. And that seems fine. I don't know, it's kind of a coin flip between these two. Which one has fewer? Alright, we'll give them a chance today. Fantastic. Thank you all for watching, do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord or the Blueprints if you're into that, if you have any questions or anything, by all means. And till next time, stay safe. Tomorrow we'll be continuing with Oxygen Not Included. Then normally I would say back to uh, Space Exploration K2 for a few days, but Christmas is coming up, so I'll be taking a day off. Take care, repetitive beats. See you next time. and everyone else.